Help! Help! I'm stuck! Wait. Hello? I thought I heard somebody come through the fog gate. Help! Help! If anybody's there, I need assistance. I'm really stuck. Please help. Welcome to WarioWare, apparently. Knock down. Oh. <laughs> Bitch just fucking oinked at me! Okay, I wasn't aware he was made of, like, unobtainium! Like, I <laughs> fucking... I didn't know he had an immortal 50,000 pound pig! Uh, okay. They do not know what is happening? I think that's the intended experience, don't worry. Um... Come wizard. There is no, no, there's no way it spells force and come wizard. Holy shit, it does. Oh my fucking god. No. It. <laughs> Wow, what a fucking decryption. What a fucking decryption. S E. Force and come, wizard. Someone go. All right, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Holy fuck. Pets, I fucking do something again. <laughs> I'm gonna lose, oh, God. I'm gonna lose Holy shit. my fucking mind, dude. It's literally like everything turns. My sanity is draining. Uh oh. Cup sent me a warning. Uh, so his name's Coop. You just call him Cup. That's his name, right? <laughs> Cute. Is it Coop? Is it? Isn't that the the catchphrase for the Moogles in Final Fantasy? I fucking isn't hate that you. What <laughs> Coupe. Coupe. <laughs> yeah. Want to save your game, Coupe? Thank God. <laughs> I did it. I completed my magnum opus. I got to trace the entire nose before the loading screen ended. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> I feel like and a light source. <sighs> Home Homest 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 God fucking damn it. <laughs> Who did this shit? Will Darko! <laughs> or E-Tube! It's, it's one of them every time. He wrote 07. Oh wait, there's more. There's more to the message. I don't know what else there is. Saint Psycho 11, thank you for the follow. Yeah, these things are blue. Loot beams, so they're not- Oh, it's lol. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Fuck.
What do you mean a negative? Well, you see, like on a moon pool, how it says vehicle dock can be minus 5 HP. If you build a moon pool on your base, it gives your base minus 5 structural integrity. And the only way to increase structural integrity is reinforcements. What are you? Same question! Hello? Sir, I'm trying to explain base building mechanics. Can you go be spooky somewhere else? Branch is the matter. I don't know why, but my brain. How? What? Can't you just go up? Can it? No, up. No, 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 up. From the original point? Right? No. Is that a brain? You make this complicated, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have Bryn. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go. Soap! That does a ton of damage there. It cuts her when it comes back to her. Fuck out of here. Ooh, that was a really quick phase two. Come on, cow! Let's see it! Is that all you got? Just ate her for breakfast, dude! Just picked her up and fucking ate her! Untouchable! It's over. Okay. You have to get naked for it. Like, it's just so strong, you gotta take all your clothes off. What? You know, you never have a shit so strong, you gotta take your clothes off. To increase no. your power level. Remove no, your weighted haven't. clothing. Oh. Well. You would think of anything the weighted clothing would help squeeze. It's like you like a toothpaste tube and it kind of pushes down on the the you in general, increases your internal this. pressure. Why did I start the conversation? <laughs> so then you can fire the shit out more effectively. Oh good lord. Uh yeah, so we need to go north from here. Yeah, that's kind of what I I got to turn vaguely yeah. the correct direction. Cuz he's just a fucking boulder. I was gonna watch out for that tail follow up. Oh! Whoa! What? Oh, hey there. This is a weird fucking bit, isn't it? You wanna watch a fully grown adult human get lost and then stuck on an incredibly simple puzzle for like four hours? Stick around. Oh, he's jamming! Oh, he's jamming! No! No! We've got the last save! Goodbye, have a nice day! <laughs> what? The huge list of songs that the Sentient playlist has to start the stream with, it picks this one a surprising amount of them. Maybe that's just confirmation bias, or it's really recognizable for some reason. But Director Scar, Ali Butt, Zinder, and Frebnikak, and Jesterfeld 2020, Dark Card 1985, Omnicarus, Mad Cat 17, Eurela, and Mokrasar starting us off with a cantonade. Welcome, Welcome in, Squiddy. everybody, and Eurela doubling pool. up with a 74-month resub. But who is pooping? We're all pooping. Everybody poops. I'm sorry to be the one that had to tell you this. You were the shiniest squiddly. Thank you for the over six years of support. It was me. I was, I was the one pooping. It was me. <laughs> 
If it takes more than like four minutes, it's probably me. Well, I guess that would be logical if the dog wasn't litter box trained. If I needed her to like go outside and poop before I brought her back inside, but she just uses the litter box. Which really is actually pretty fucking magical. The longer we have this, the more it's really just growing on me. Litter box dog is the way of the future. We don't have to let her outside. We don't have to worry about any of that shit. She just goes and finds one of her litter boxes and poops. It's a, it's truly a life change. Like, my perspective on dog has been massively shifted. Don't have to worry about them going in the house while I'm streaming or anything, because we just got, like, a fucking we got litter box. Just gonna go find a litter box. I'm a poop speedrunner. If it's more than 30 seconds, it ain't me. I literally cannot imagine pooping in 30 seconds. I think, like, my world record speedrun is probably, like, four minutes. Three to four minutes is probably, like, the fastest I've ever pooped in my entire life. That's, like... That's my PB, for sure. <laughs> I sit down, I press, it's over. That's what I do. I do, like, I do the same thing. I don't do it any differently. Talk about litter box trained huskies. Yeah, I think the litter box dog may only work if your dog is, like, this big. If your dog gets bigger than a loaf of bread, you know, maybe not litter box dog. Maybe that's not the truth. I think your uh, fucking litter box trained Great Dane is going to cause you more problems than you want in your life. But, like, litter box trained... Where are you? There's Gigi. Oh, she's back here being a weird slug behind my chair. Litter box trained little spaniel thing. Works out pretty okay. So, I'm... I haven't tried this yet. Is this going to work okay? Yeah, okay. I don't think it's going to be super visible on camera also because the swelling has, like, gone down a lot by now. But I wasn't completely confident I was going to be able to use these buttons. Mostly, yeah, you can't really see it on stream at all unless I'm just completely, like, I'm really getting used to it. You may notice that of the two fingers I have on top of the controller right now, one of them is huge. <laughs> and the other one is just a regular finger. And one of them is huge and, oh, I can but mostly straighten it all the way now. It's way less swollen than it was yesterday, so that's good. Uh, when I had to leave a little early on the first... <laughs> what the fuck happened here, right? Okay, it is in fact visible on the camera then that this finger is a fat boy. It doesn't- it's kind of like spread a little bit, so it's less jarring than it was looking at this incredibly huge finger and then a perfectly normal finger immediately next to it, because now this one's a little bit swollen too and this one's less swollen, so it's a lot less visible. But, uh... I get it, right? That is visible. <laughs> I guess I'm just getting used to looking at it after like two days. This happened almost immediately after I ended the first Resident Evil stream. Because I had to go with Bryn over to her farm. I guess I didn't technically have to, but I wanted to. Over to Bryn's farm to help her set up this uh, event for all of the like grooms and horse partners and clients that she has doing all the horse stuff because the show circuit ends today. This is the last like Grand Prix and this is the end of the entire winter, spring, the horse show thingy but uh we went out there and i'm pretty sure what happened is i immediately went back into the shed to grab folding tables to go set them up to start like getting things ready and grabbed a folding table and fucking instantly got bit by whatever fuck off spider was living back there which and then this happened <laughs> so it's annoying it doesn't hurt it's just i don't have like the full range of motion on it but it's not because it like it's painful or anything or it's numb or whatever it's just because it was so swollen that i couldn't bend it all the way into a fist just because it was so fat so yeah this is poison damage i guess i just got a little bit monched by something and, like, Benadryl and all, none of that's doing anything to it, unfortunately, because it's not an allergic reaction, it's just a poisonous spider. Fortunately, not a poisonous spider enough to be, like, dangerous, at least I didn't get grabbed by a Black Widow or some shit, because there are definitely some spiders in Florida that if I got bit by one of those, I should probably go to the hospital. Um, it's just the kind that makes your hands swell up a lot. Did you identify the kind of spider? No, I didn't even, like, I didn't ever, I never saw it. 
I never saw the spider. In fact, the story I just told you is even just an assumption about how it happened, because I didn't notice the bite at all until my finger started fucking ballooning. Like, uh, pretty quickly, actually. It was within, like, an hour of being over there. My finger was pretty fat <laughs> and red. And then you, I could look at it, and I might, you might be able to see it on the camera, honestly. You can look at it, and you can kind of, you can clearly see the bite. It's, like, right below the knuckle. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely see that. It's it's very obvious that the bite where the bite is. And I was like, oh, I must have gotten bit by a spider or something. How do you know it wasn't a black widow? Because I'd be dying, I assume. <laughs> is how that works, unless I've built up an immunity to black widows at this point, or I misunderstand how a black widow works. But yeah, I have no idea what it was, but it must have been in the show when I was grabbing the tables. Uh but like I said, it doesn't even hurt. It's not even, like, painful. It's just, like, swollen and hard to use. It's just I don't have a ton of articulation in it just because it's so fucking fat. And I was thinking, well, I hope that doesn't stop me from, like, getting triggers and stuff, but it, I got enough range of motion to do that without any problems. It's not, like, I'm not, like, that restricted. It's just, like, this is as far in as I can bend it. <laughs> because you can literally see it's just I'm out of bendable finger. <laughs> it's too swollen. <laughs> like, the black widows even live where you do? Yeah, they do. We get black widows. We got brown recluses. We have a couple of, uh, probably go to the hospital if they bite you spiders. Um, but I don't imagine it was one of them. I mean, it's possible, I guess. That's, uh, that's the also possible, Freb, is because I just got bit on, like, my knuckle. It's not like there's a major fucking artery flowing through your index finger. It's entirely possible it was, like, a brown recluse or something, and it just was either, like, a baby or didn't get a very good bite and didn't really penetrate, so it's just making this shit swell up. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's just a little red and it's swollen. Nothing, like, bad has happened. If it, if it It's, like, day two now, and it's still quite swollen, which is definitely worse than most spider bites, but it's still, there's nothing that isn't, like, localized, and there's nothing worse than it's a little red, so I'm not worried about it at the moment. Maybe if by the time I come back to stream on Wednesday, it's still fat as fuck, yeah, I'd probably, you know, go to the hospital, but... I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. It's just going to be in my way and kind of annoying. And I'm going to be able to blame it all day for my potato aim is what we're going to go with. I got bitten by a brown recluse and still have scar tissue. British living ones don't tend to be as dangerous as the proper ones. The only two that I know of we have is brown recluses and black widows. I know we have both of those in Florida. So it's a strange concept to me. I don't think there's anything in Denmark you need medical attention for unless you're like deathly allergic. I think... That's kind of the case for most little, like, insect bites, though, right? I'm pretty sure the vast majority of people who get bit by, like, a black widow are perfectly fine. And probably aren't even, a, like, like, may not even be aware they got bit by a black widow. You have to get bit by, like, a particularly virulent black widow and be some degree of susceptible to it and get bit by a place where, in a place where, like, really fucking gets into your bloodstream for it to be, like, dangerous. I think that's the case for most extremely tiny venomous things. When you get up to, like, snake quantities of venom, I don't know. We pass out halfway through stream, another reason. I pass out halfway through stream from this, that's an incredibly delayed reaction, seeing as I got bit, like, two full days ago at this point. It was kind of a long time ago. I think hoogorm is the worst we have. What the fuck is a hoogorm? I'll have to Google this. What the hell is that? Hoogorm. Oh, it's a snack. What's funny is I can tell it's a Danish snake and that you have it in Denmark because when I Google it, the first result is literally Wikipedia in Danish. <laughs> so, yeah, that's definitely you. That's, uh, that's, that's yours. <laughs> that's your thing right there is what it is. Oh, no. Oh, my, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What the fuck? Hold on. That's supposed to happen. Arm's coming off the desk. It's losing its grip on the desk. Remain on the desk. Oh, this got super loosened. I don't know how. Okay, we should be good now, I think. I thought this was... The, the arm itself was, like, starting to lose... Articulation, but no, it's just coming off the desk. Oh, we might have a problem actually. Why can't you? 
stay sturdy. Hmm. Boss fight music for my microphone. Please remain on the bed. All right, I'm not sure how to fix this. Let me see if I can, okay. Stand by, I need to fuck with my microphone. It's trying to detach from my desk entirely. Hi there. It's not broken or nothing. Gigi's trying to help. Gigi's under my desk trying to help. She is not helping. Let's do to re-anchor this. Ah. Alright, that should be fun. There we go. That was weird. It just, uh... I guess for me adjusting it back and forth like a thousand times throughout as long as this microphone arm has been clamped right there, it has slowly... It was like slowly wiggling its way off of the connection it has on the front of the desk. The clamp was, uh, was losing its grip. Hi, GG. Now, Gigi's very concerned. For some reason, that that disturbed her greatly. So, Resident Evil, though, is a fantastic fucking game. Uh, before I launch it, we're in kind of a weird situation, because I gotta do the hourly ads thing, so people... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, a piece came off. Oh, that's how I see how I lost connection. I see what happened. This was the... Oh. Yeah, it had started wiggling off. There's like a metal... Let me see how if I can show you any semblance of explanation here via the corner of my desk. This. It had slowly wiggled off of my desk until the clamp was on this little plastic piece on the end of this metal support beam, but on the other side of the desk. And not really on the actual metal. And then it just... <laughs> levered. That, that was why it was falling. It was levering that out. That's fine. That's not actually necessary. That's just an aesthetic cap. I don't particularly care because there's a microphone clamp covering it, so it doesn't matter what that looks like. Anyway, I gotta do... The hourly ads, right? I gotta get back in my position now. I gotta now I'm gonna hold this while I move my microphone so I don't wiggle it off my desk. I gotta do the hourly ads, or everyone's gonna get big spammed by Twitch, and there's gonna be a bunch of pre-rolls, but because I started my stream pretty late, I either need to like take a break now already, or we're not going to make it until three. So what I'm gonna do is before I start Resident Evil 4, I'm not gonna go to a break scene or anything, but I am gonna press the ads button. So if you see a uh, shitzillion ads. I'm sorry, I'm not starting the game until they're over, so uh, thank you for putting up with this. But I gotta run a fucking block of them, or Twitch is gonna do it for me, uh, and also slap people with free rolls. So, uh, I'm gonna hit that button now. And it's gonna go through, right, Twitch? Okay, there, it's gonna go through. And then that'll, that'll keep us good until three, at least, so we'll have that going for us, which is nice. Anyway! When we were going to start Resident Evil, when chat brought it up and had the idea literally last week, I was never planning on playing this. But Wolong was not very Wolong. It was uh, more Wo Short, I think would be an accurate title. It was a couple of days, but not a ton of content, really. I think much, much less, like, engage engaging playtime than Neo by a lot. I was going to say, fuck it, I'll try it, everyone loves this game. I'll just sit through it. I didn't really expect to like it very much. I really did not think it was going to be a game that I like clicked with at all. I thought I was just going to kind of play it to be something to do and be filler. But you know what's way more fucking fun <laughs> than I thought it was going to be? is Resident Evil 4. I didn't realize how much of a, like, kind of a fucking just meme fiesta this game was. It's... It's kind of a shit show, and it's super entertaining to play. It's really not a horror game at all. It's just like a really silly action shooter. 
Like, uh, between that fucking abuela just falling down the stairs on her own, or the dynamite-throwing guy just getting lost and blowing himself up, or shooting the motherfucker with a Molotov in his arm, like, nine times in a row until he burned himself to death. Pairing a chainsaw with a fucking kitchen knife. It's, a. Uh... It's really fun, actually. I like this a lot. I'm having a super good time with this game. There's a surprising amount. I don't know if, like, I was going to say depth of the combat, and there's not, it's not so much death, depth, as it just gives you a ton of room to do stupid shit. Like, it's everyone having specific reactions to getting hit in, like, different limbs. You have so many ways. It's like a fucking sandbox. Every fight is like a sandbox playground. For you to just do whatever stupid shit to all the enemies that you want to do. Whether you want to knife fight 26 people in a row. Whether you want to just repeatedly shoot a Molotov out of a dude's hand because it's funny. Or if you just want to blow a guy's brains out with a sniper rifle from 200 yards away. Just kicking people down the fucking stairs. <laughs> like there's, there's a lot of variability. There's so many like things that you can do with any individual basic peon tier enemy. That the fights are, are really entertaining because you can always just come up with more dumb shit to do. <laughs> There's always new and exciting ways to clown on people or to get clowned by people literally just spamming dynamite from fucking heaven continuously. Okie dokie. Advertisements do be ending. Resident Evil 4. Come to me. OG Resident Evil 4 had contextual shooting. So you do the same shit in it? Yeah, because, like, that was standard for, like, the era. You guys there back in the day when we just had, like, contextual shooting and uh, reactions that mattered and, like, destructible environments and all that kind of stuff. You guys remember the era when we just, like, had those things in all of the games before everyone just got lazy and stopped doing it because they realized they could make just as much money with one third of the effort? Ah. Fight this shooting range. I remember what we were doing. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm not saying... Look, I'm not saying we're going to spend four hours in the shooting range. But I'm also not saying we're not going to spend four hours in the shooting range, okay? Like, all things are possible. <laughs> Five-hour shooting range streaming. What you do is download a mod that lets you have intercourse with Chris's just to clear Redfield so you can see the Redfield bloodline. Wouldn't that be hilarious? This is... I imagine copy pasta material. Warm up that injured finger with some target practice. Okay, so the challenges let you buy stuff in here. Which is what? Character models? What are these? Oh, is this like a Smash Bros esque? You can just collect all the weird little miniatures kind of thing. Egg. Is there anything in here that's not that? Measure models. Oh, concept art. Concept art's always a good time. There's always cool shit in concept art. I fucking love concept art. Okay. Anyway, we were doing something, I believe, when we left previously, and it was super important. This is massively critical to our continued existence. Wait, do I get to do all the shooting gallery and I actually have a reason to because it didn't save? Do I get to redo all of it and chat can't even be mad because I literally have to because this game didn't save my progress at all? Even though I literally use Oh, there's wolves. Use the typewriter. Next to the merchant. Oh, well, they died really quick. The pistol shots, actually. Damn, I've been shotgunning these guys. I thought that was, like, a good use of shotgun shells. 
Well, these guys die way fucking faster than I thought. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, baby, that hit the race. I just hit continue, which I assume should select. Look, the only thing we've lost is progress on uh, shooting gallery, which means I get to play more shooting gallery and I am justified, so I have no fucking complaints here. Oh, what else did you get? There's a typewriter next to the fucking merchant down here that we used. There's a typewriter right there. We already typed. Ah, uh, yes. It literally just gave us all of the challenges for the shooting range stuff that we'd already saved. <laughs> like, before the game started. Maybe that's just where you zone in because that's like the, why would you not be in front of the typewriter? No, because we had this. Oh my God, I get to do it again. Hello, stranger. Did, did I make a second save? No? I don't know, but I know where we're going and it's down the fucking elevator, boys. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Justification for my madness. This session started by giving me a whole bunch of achievements for the target practice I've already done, so it's clearly not. Simple enough, am I right? Yes. If you do well, I'll make you worth Don't fucking talk to me. I'm ready. It's time. Here we go again, boys. I gotta remember the pattern. I gotta remember how everyone spawns. Also, I have to have hands. Look, I have a spider bot on my finger, okay? I'm injured. It's affecting my ability. All right, he's got one in his face. I almost forgot about that. Just reload here because none of these guys matter. Okay, let's fucking go. I definitely had the back chest there. No, I did not. God damn it. Fuck you, last target. You still don't fucking talk to me. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so put me back in there. Put me back in, coach. Put me back in, coach. Put me back in. Stupid ass final target. <laughs> Give me tiny target. This guy, that guy, middle dude, right in the face, this asshole, reload. Coming in from the left, find us up right there in the water. Shoot these dudes in their fat little fucking pirate stomachs, pop that guy. Stone piece, this dude, his friend, his captain, not that guy, his other friend, reload. Wait for the fucking dynamite. Dynamite, reload, why not? Right there in the fucking corner of the painting. Now it's a skull. Bing, bong, bing, bong. No, I don't really care about that. No, what matters is the one that actually has a fucking token on it. Bong, bing, bong. Okay, now these matter. We can miss those. We just can't miss. Fucking, I'm thinking, I was trying to shoot super early because I can't tell if I'm early or late. I was thinking I might, it might have had like the smallest amount of travel time. So I was like, I'll try shooting a little early and see what happens. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck this guy. 
gun. Fuck this dude, all his stupid little friends and his captain right in his face hole. No, oh, they're escaping. Give me this. Yes, you stupid little pirates. It's always higher than I think it is. GG's getting very comfy on my feet right there. The Doingus. Uh, uh, bonk. 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 Doesn't matter. Bonk. 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 Oh! Yes! You do have to shoot pretty early. It does feel like you have to shoot pretty early. Doesn't it? That feels like I, I'm shooting the gun like before the crosshair has even hit the very edge of the thing. Not every day I see a performance like that. All right. You're something else you are. Do it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for all of the dumb little skull tokens on every one of these, but we are gonna farm them a little. I'm gonna tell you, I don't remember how this one goes at all. Okay, that guy's got a... Whoa, this thing's waving. Holy shit. That's some... Okay, well, was, we gotta, I gotta see what they all are. Okay, so there's one on that guy's face. So we should be down one right now. I need to see all of them. Don't see one. And then there's, there's a guy who goes really fast. Oh, this is the hostage situation. Okay, that's all the pirates. Get that. Get that. Oh, the moving. Oh, they did come back. Okay. I don't know if that is the same chest that came back or if it's a different chest. How many are we down? Okay, the two chests in the beginning don't go across and come back. They are different chests that pop up later. So you gotta hit the chests first. Because, like, the slowly moving little bird thing is gonna be there for a while on account of it's not very fast. You don't have one on you. Do you, guy in the back? No. Okay. Fucking zooming out the rack of a bolt fills me with pain. My life is agony. Okay. We have the crossover, boys. There's no one, like, sneaking by here while I'm looking down the scope, is there? No one's being, like, a sneaky, beaky little bitch. You don't have one hiding on you, do you, Captain Man? Okay, so we gotta hit the little chests first. Easiest game I've ever played, honestly. Holy shit, okay. That one is dummy easy. And then you could get up to theoretically 8,000 pretty easily by just making sure every one of those moving ones that you hit collaterals one of the chests behind it. Which, like, I don't care. That one, it turns out when you have a weapon that's accurate, it's not very hard to do. <laughs> the difficulty! Three starring each of these is just hitting every single target. The difficulty on 1A is the accuracy of the fucking pistol. <laughs> like it's... Three, the problem is two, not the course. One, okay, there's a man. Two man. Nobody's... Oh, he's got one in his chest, I see it. So there's one.
Oh, that guy's uh, got a little man behind him. Okay. Reload everything. Got a token in his face. Man's a little dickhead in the barrel. Okay, pistol. Well, now. Okay, where tokens? Oh my god. Fucking everywhere. Ooh, they're pretty swifty. Ooh, those fuckers are fast. Those boys are quick. Miss three. I know of two. I know of two that we missed. Three, two, I don't know of three. Because I didn't hit that one last time. None of these have tokens, I don't think. They do not collateral this guy. If there's a token on them, I'm not seeing it. He wants to start with the collateral for this guy. Uh, Badingus? Badingus? This guy and his dumb little friend in a barrel? Badingus? Okay, now it's... The hour of the pistol. Reload everything and fucking believe in the heart of the goddamn cards. It's probably easier here. I don't think that's all of them though. Yeah, I don't, there's one I don't know where it is. I haven't seen one. We're just, okay. We gotta do this like slow style. I'm just, we're looking. We're just looking. Where are you guys sneaking a fucking token? Can you break the barrel? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what a little bitch! What a little bitch token! Wow! Asshole! Should I gotta reload? What a fucking dickhead! That's hella troll! Okay. Okay. Better to learn that early than 37 more attempts in. Well, I was wondering, because the dude, there's a tutorial that says some things take multiple shots, and definitely nothing has taken multiple shots. But the barrels sure don't break when you shoot them, so the only logical conclusion is that the barrels take multiple shots. Just never bothered breaking one, because why would you? GG well played. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, man. I got my shitty little bolt action out here being all slow. We got all the tokens though, which is what matters. Yay! Look at that! Look at that! What fucking 15 minutes? And we golded all three of them. I had all my dumb little tokens. All right, good.
Look at how many fucking tokens I have. It's time for some gotchas, boys. I've been thinking about this. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a gotcha machine, so theoretically you can just get hella duplicates. But I don't know if they have enough stuff in here to give you duplicates. Which means... We should do... The shitty ones first. Because if there's a table that we're getting stuff off... I'm glad you found the meme before anyone else on this server did. <laughs> we're definitely seeing the same ones we got before. Like a duplicate? No, it didn't save. These are exactly... Is this literally just seated? These are exactly the same charms we got yesterday or last time. Okay, that's a 30% health recovery for vipers. Can I... Can I eat the vipers? Are vipers food? What does that mean? 30% health recovery for vipers. What the fuck does that mean? Welcome, squid. All right, guys, it's a big game of time. Pool. These are the gold tokens we earned by power farming. Paladin Janny, 54 months in the pool. Four and a half years of supporting the channel. The prime sub, the free money. You with the shiniest squidling. I know you only get that, but that prime one place. Thanks for making it here. Everyone with that prime must know that it does not auto renew. You have to reuse it every month or it just sits there. Not burning any holes in anyone's pockets because it's worth zero dollars if you don't use it. Go. My brother in Christ. Please, I am three gold. It's a single player game. You can just, you can give me things that are fun and cool. Yeah, Goldie Ball! I got chicken! Oh. Come again. oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. Yes. That's my charm for the rest of the game. That, I don't even need to do any of this anymore. That's my, that's it. That's never coming off my case. Shut up. That's not ever coming off my case. Oh, wait, holy shit. You can have three of them? Oh my god, you can have three of these? Uh. This is funny. Oh, that, did that make the entire typewriter turn gold? Oh, no, it's just the light. Okay, don't fucking make goddamn sure this works, even though I'm pretty sure it's not going to anyway. Okay. Welcome. Hi, Welcome buddy. I, you in. I would like to sell you this thing that says for selling only, and also this viper. All rubbish. It makes no difference. And the also price, this pistol. Well, that's our choice to make. And I kind of also want to sell you this bolt thrower back because I hate it. Um, two of these. Oh, I can sell them charms. Okay, sell. That's yeah, fine. Sell that. I knew you were go get up. Thank you for your Peters. I appreciate you. Screw the bolt thrower ammo. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the bolt thrower. I must say. Very not a fan. And I don't really see a point in carrying two pistols, so... I'm gonna transmogrify... One of those pistols. It's gonna make an extra stack. Okay, I need to blast somebody with a shotgun. Literally, the next person I walk past is getting blasted with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> should have made rifles. What I should have done. Welcome. We can sell our dupes back to him so we can put him back in the machine. Yeah, no, I, I did a bunch of stuff. I'm just uh, 
looking through things. Making flash grenades seems like it could be super valuable, honestly. Always repair knife. And then I gave you shoot it dude, and that was where we were at. That was what I did last time. What else do I want to do? Twelve to fifteen needs care every once in a while. Could be is a pretty hefty magazine upgrade. Twelve to fifteen. That's like that's twenty five percent more bullet per per mag. That's that's pretty. But these upgrades are really not small. They're pretty healthy fucking upgrades. <laughs> or I could hodl. What can I do you for? Or I could learn to make flash grenades. I'm gonna do that. Happy, don't get yourself killed now. I'm gonna learn to make flash grenades. Okay. Why would I have you there? There we go. Perfect. Alright, and then don't trust any of this shit. Save it. My time saved is going to be like 149 by the end of the game because I'm just going to save after I do everything so I don't have to redo stuff. Pistol. Hi, Gigi. Okie dokie. Kika. More gunpowder. How hard is it, I wonder? Not that I have any gunpowder right now, really. Uh, the flash grenade is only five? Also we're noting submachine gun ammo is 30 per six. Though it does take large scrap, but just in pure like amount of kill that you get, that's either far and away the best deal we've gotten on, well, it is far and away the best we've gotten on quantity of bullet, but quantity of murder or submachine gun bullets do like zero damage. I don't know, I haven't bought the fucking submachine gun, so not really much of a spray and prayer myself. Too bad we can't upgrade Leon's greatest weapon. Get us made some shin guards. Give me a steel-toed fucking boot. For just kicking the shit out of people. That's all I'm after, really. Give me some spurs to put on my heels when I roundhouse kick people. It punches to the side of their goddamn skulls. Anyway. We're going this direction. We're going to out here. Where we're gonna watch again as the one half of a crocodile from Wo Long eats these guys. I feel like I gotta hold everything really weird because I can't really like wrap my index finger around the handle. So I just have to like index finger out to grab this mug. Fuck. Everything feels very uh off balance. True, I should just get like some medieval greaves. Just like some steel plated fucking greaves. The back of that thing is straight up just a nugget. <laughs> the bear traps will just, you know, get stuck and I'll just pull my foot out. I'm gonna go out in the lake. I wanna go hang out with the chicken nugget monster. I'm fucking confident there's people down there and I just don't know where they are. Pika, fuck this barrel. Barrel's got my family. Boat fuel, start with the generator fuel inside the processing building at the fish farm. Take only what you need. Uh, okay, so there's not gonna be any fuel for our boat. That's why we gotta go back inside. Or the motherfuckers. Man could really use some steel toad boots. What the fuck is this shit? Ah. I see. I need... I mean, I'll throw it in there, but I'm gonna clearly need some more of those, and then also they're gonna need an amount of reorganization. Hello? Yellow Erba! <laughs> Big heel! Okay. Excuse me. Fire me, come through. I wanna go sacrifice myself to the fucking great chicken nugget of the lake. Can't believe there's nobody in here waiting to eat my ass on the corner. There's always somebody waiting to eat my ass in the corner. I'm about to fucking cap on handgun ammo, I think. Excuse me. Ah, uh, yes. The residential gunpowder. 
and this is not gonna have fuel. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just a little gauge. When you're done. Yeah, come on, asshole. Be kind. Oop. I, I'm telling you, I promise you, it's the pistol, man. It's not me. I'm not. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I I don't have NA aim. It's the pistol. It's the fucking pistol. You all seen it, okay? See. Oh, look at the little fishies. I'm telling you, it's the fucking pistol. I was half expecting him to put a little blue dangler like way out there on the lake. I'm kind of like truly surprised there isn't. That was definitely in the crosshairs. Yeah, everyone who watched with silent judgment as I did that shooting gallery 27 times, look at that shit right there, okay? This shit is inaccurate as fuck. This pistol sucks. <laughs> or Leon sucks. I'm not sure which. I guess it is a pistol. It's not really meant to be accurate. It's that kind of a range. Okay, so the area for these blue medallions is fucking huge. We are still in blue medallion town, which means I'm just peeking around. I really got to keep my eyes extremely open. Especially, I feel like I I had you backwards, didn't I? Because I keep hitting left to pull out my rifle. Whether or not that was how I had it before, that's what my muscle memory is doing. So I'm just going to put it there. And stop trying to retrain my brain when I can freely rebind everything. Y'all got any of them blue medallions? Got any of them blue... Blue medallions? Nah? Okay, let's keep going. Peaceful. He has a police officer in. <laughs> How yeah, about that flashlight? No? That's cool. We can see well enough, I guess. If there's bear traps, so be it. I'll just find it with my feet. And right, so we're gonna fight some huge motherfucker at some point. Oh, but I hear people. The flavor of people. I don't see shit, Captain. <laughs> I'll peruse the area, shall we? Anybody up there with hypothetically sticks of dynamite that needs to be alivened? The Mao. <laughs> Minus one. Anyone else? Well's fucking hiding around some random ass corner. We'll find you. Scopey McScope face, you can't hide from me. I mean, you can, but, like, not indefinitely. Oh, well. Shit. God damn it. That's what I get for not looking where I was going. And instead looking down. Are you going to throw the Resident Evil 5 crocodiles at me? Because those things are annoying as hell. My Resident Oh, fuck me. Ah, shit. It's full, man. Kika. Oh, he's got overheads. Ooh. Man's pulling a business. Give him a Kika. Give him one of these. There you go. These gentlemen have a flashbang. Idiot. Not bad, right? Ooh, Let's go, bitch. Let's go, bitch. Ah oh, damn it! I was trying to fucking knife her. <laughs> I was trying to catch her with a knife. Get off me, babushka! You little bitch!
fucking love knife fighting in this game, dude. Oh, it's so much fun. My stick. Where? Gimme. 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 Give me a snick, I need this. He rushed you and he just got both to death. That's fucking like it's so Oh god. I I love the knife fighting. If absolutely nothing else, if there was nothing else in Resident Evil 4 that appealed to me or brought me joy, just fucking knife fighting all these assholes is my favorite shit in the world. Dude. It's so much more fun than it should be. Oh, I don't know why it brings me such joy. But man, I really like knife fighting people. I <laughs> used 20 years in a green shirt. I mean, a long knife. That will absolutely link cosplay my way through the world. Okay, so cowhead guy is just going to be a regular enemy. And he's a regular enemy that takes... Yeah, you can just eat a fucking snake. Jesus. It takes a surprise to a shotgun. I, I was trying to, I forgot I was trying to waste the shotgun shell. Oh, well, that was not very hidden. It's uh, a, a situation that probably calls for more than just spamming pistol bullets. It's probably about the worst thing you can do to a big enemy that has actual health. Consume all of your like diddle ammo that you use for the little people. I don't have any little dinkle ammo to diddle people with. We know we're going to fight some big, angry, fucking snorting motherfucker soon because we can hear him breathing heavily in the distance. Maybe it's best I keep all this for now. I don't know. Leonk. Aha. Full circle we have come. Thank you. Nothing in here, nothing through here. No blue medallions. No, nothing. You guys got any blue medallions? This dude's legs are made of unobtainium. Not just from all the guys that were kicking into oblivion. The fact that we could jump down off anything and just not worry about it. Uh, hello? Did you have a fucking gun? My lad's got a crossbow. Oh shit. I heard him drop. Dude's got a fucking crossbow. Shit, they have ranged weapons. I'll bet his crossbow is gonna do a lot more to me than my pistol does to him. I don't know. I, I was gonna say I don't think my knife parrying abilities are quite up to the snuff of deflecting ranged attacks, but... I parried a fucking chainsaw, so I mean anything's possible, really. Yes. Hello, denizens of the doo doo swamp. I hear beeping. Did you want to spawn behind me? You dicks. The wrong gun, and I'm sorry. <laughs> that man is dead. Next, that man is dead. Next. Oh shit, he's doing the thing. Oh, you bitch. Out of the way. Hold on, we put some shells in this? Alright. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. Anyway. <laughs> Snack! Snack! All these fuckers get behind me. Uh-huh. Yo, esta. 
Yeah, like key, I guess. Hey, sorry. Can you come a little closer? Thanks. <laughs> God, the guns in this game just bring me such joy. I don't know what it is about the like every gun that just feels like really good. Is there, I have not picked up a gun yet other than the bolt thrower. All my homies hate the bolt thrower. That doesn't feel absolutely fucking hilarious to murder people with. I need to be a little more of a bulletary conservative, I think. Hi. I have so many snakes. Leon, why is your bag full of snakes? Why, shut up. I like snakes. I'm feeling real fucking judged right now. Got a problem? Can I not enjoy snakes? Everyone's got a hobby. That was 2,000 pesos. Wow. That was a lot of fucking dollars. I wonder where the fuck all those guys came from. They're behind me. Okay, don't set off the explosive. Also, do not disarm the explosive because we can use it later. It's beeping. It's quite my fucking snakes, dude. Jesus! <laughs> my bag is just full of snakes. <laughs> okay. Oh, fishy! Can I have a fish? Oh, can I fish? Oh! Barbarian fishing. <laughs> what are we doing? What is this game? What the hell is this? I can go knife fishing? Okay. I just gotta coil them together to make a snake whip. What in the fucking runescape is that kind of logic? Every game in 2023 has got to have a fishing mini game. Gosh, can't you guys be okay? I'll disarm this one. This one's a walk into a level. You got to go. You can't be here. I'm sorry. Hello? Oh, man, don't let me drop down. I want to run back into the explosives. No! I want to run back to the bomb. I love blowing people up. What's this way? Can I convince anybody else to show up? That's a one. Let's see. How the fuck would I get over there? No. In RE5, that'd be the kind of contextual thing you would just leap that gap if you ran up to it, I think. There's so much money in there. Okay, that's a it's a drop down from up top is what that is, and I think we'll get to that later. You know? Fine, I guess I won't blow everyone up with my cool C4 charge strap. I guess I'll just Well theoretically I can go up there and just like hurry around and drop down the other side and go with the quickness. This is gonna spawn 27 people. Don't fucking even try to pretend it's not. We're the homies. This game is doom. You, just, you cross the trigger line and all the boys just show up. Not? Really? Huh. How did the archer guy not run into this? I feel like I'm going to touch the wire before I get in the disarm range because the way this wall is angled. Okay, we're good. Oh. Here come fucking 3,000 dudes. Hey, come here. Right here. Right here. Oh, fuck, she didn't go. She just died! I wanted to bonk her off the edge and I broke her fucking neck! Oh my, that wasn't even one of the, like evil villagers that was just someone's grandma who happened to be here okay you've got a crossbow you are banned from remaining alive i'm sorry i don't make the rules 
I literally do, but also just fuck you. On principle. Excuse me, sir. I'm not in the place where the bomb is, am I? I'm not, no. Iron Mate. Oh, you can't just like hold the guard. You have to hit LB again if you're blocking two people. Okay. Hey, can you guys go over here? I want to do something funny. Hey, come get me! Oh no! <laughs> Why are you alive? What the fuck? I parried his fist with a knife and I cut his fucking hand up. Dude, just take the L. Take the L, my guy! I'm, okay, you gotta stop. You gotta fucking stop, dude. Jesus. Oh, a thing. His hand came off. He's like, I got him on the ropes, dude. Man's actually like Monty Python black knighting me. This is a flesh wound. I got him on the ropes, brothers. I got him right where I want him. I cut your fucking hand off. Huh? All right, the big attention. You say that again. How big do you think the blast radius on this is? Like that big? I'm gonna. I'm absolutely gonna blow up this one guy. Oh, quick. <laughs> oh, no, he's two guys. Oh well, he's not getting back up again. On account of, he's having a hard time with the walking these days. I think we're gonna have to get that man a wheelchair. Uh, oh no, he starved to death. Just our mind still blow up if you shoot them. I did also have that thought, but it's the the angle it's on the thing. I didn't really want to go for it. Felt like. I was gonna just fuck myself. Hi, <laughs> yeah. Green Latus. I can make a GG herb. Just do that since my entire. I guess I should just eat some stuff. My entire inventory is full of like fucking snakes and fish and shit. <laughs> I'm just a wildlife conservator. I didn't sign up for this, but here we are. Hey, you guys got a blue medallion? I'm looking for one blue medallion somewhere like a single or a single bluey not that i'm necessarily through the area so i'm not gonna like really look that hard but like, there's a lot of places you could conceivably hide one. Oh, hold on can i just yep that's a master lock for sure hello Quit fucking hissing at me unless you want to be in my lunchbox I fucking warned you. Welcome to my lunchbox. <laughs> Please enjoy, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> they smell their brethren. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have used all the explosives. As I realize now, the next step is obviously going to be a huge fight on the way out of here. And I feel like I was just a little bit late to that realization. On account of... You know, I used everything, so... This is what I'm talking about. Also tells me I did probably miss a blue medallion, so we'll keep our eyes open on the way out. Damn. Okay, so how much shit is going to spawn the way out of here? Let's go across the top. Because we can also test the shooting a disarmed C4 charge theory. If we're up here, because there's one up here that's like actually accessible. There's that one. Don't be splashing. Is that a fish or is that some asshole? No. Where is this blue dingleberry? There's one, man. We're missing one of them. I feel like up there is very likely. I don't really know where I'd have a better view into that other than all the way across the room with a rifle. 
trying to hard scope in there. Maybe. I think I was gonna be like 30% snake if I wait at the end of this. I haven't eaten any of the snakes yet, okay? I'm just, I'm saving them for later in case I get hungry. We don't know how long we're gonna be here, man. Maybe I'm gonna get snacky. You're not you when you're hungry. Eat a snake. What does it look like it's interactable? I don't know, that's just me. Whee! And is immune to fall damage. There was one right in here. Look at them blue coins. No. <laughs> Not you when you're hungry, I'm a snakers. <laughs> How'd I miss snakers, dude? Like two or three people in chat all hit that joke at the same time. It was so, it was right there. There was one in here that was just in this little hut. Which concerns me because it was just in like a little hut by itself. Where are you, blue dangler? I'm at four or five and now I'm fucking committed. Can I see into that from a kind of? There's a wiggly tree in the way. There ain't shit up there. There ain't shit up there. Guys, I hate to tell you. I think we're taking the L1 medallion number five. Because I don't really want to run around this place for an hour. And uh, I don't see it. We got 80. I mean, I feel okay with four out of five. Four out of five is the second worst feeling after one out of five. Because one out of five makes you just feel like you're fucking stupid. Four out of five sucks because you're right there. Two and three are the optimal places to give up. Because you're like, well... I'm far enough away that it'd be a huge push to try to get it because I'm not even close. But also, you don't feel so dumb because you only found one. Wait, how do I get back up there? Oh, we dropped down from over here. That's right. I'm surprised a billion guys have not jumped me yet. We're like really burying the lead on that one or it's inexplicably not going to happen. Maybe I was supposed to just go through this a lot faster in that like second and third wave of dudes that spawned. Was the dudes we were supposed to find on the way back? But I was going so like comically slowly through the area <laughs> that I've already exhausted it of all of its goobers. I'm kind of surprised there's not one through there. Okay, well, let's go. Because we've already de-goobered the room. Like any little nooks in this cave. A little blue medallion holding little orifices. Local blondie terrorizes villagers full suitcase with snakes. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Delta, I fucking dare you to lose my luggage. <laughs> it's literally just a briefcase full of snakes. Lose my luggage. See what fucking happens to your shitty airport. Hello, sir. I've recently come into some money. Would you like to engage in commerce? Uh, gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. Welcome. Can I interest you in good things on just sale? Just so many yeah. snakes. <laughs> Would you like all of these snakes, sir? I am a fine snake salesman. No, not a snake oil salesman. I have the entire snake. You can extract the oil yourself. You're a real Selling only seven thousand dollars for that pipe? What the fuck? A deal well struck. I feel like seventy-nine percent of the money in this I game is I hidden. Count on you. How much does a fish sell for? Good question. Can we really Will just be all, then? Can we make a living as a fisherman? No, the fish are fucking valueless. Won't do you much good in the grave. The fish ain't worth shit. Right, we got rid of our thousand snakes. <laughs> We're good to go. Oh god, this if game is so fucking funny, man. There, I love this. Tune up your kit. Okay. Let me see. Making my shotgun more blappity could be useful. Shotgun is kind of like the go-to. Do DPS gun. So what if it did See more DPS? Feels, like yourself should notice the and then what if we loaded two shells at a time? Anything else I can help you 
Please. What do you have in this area here? You got a bunch of fucking garbage and a laser sight. Which goes on the. Ooh, a laser sight for the pistol would be sick, honestly. Anytime. I'm down with that. Let me save before we continue. I'm just gonna save neurotically now. Okay. Let's go. Snakes on a plane. Release date August 18, 2006. RE4 original release date January 11, 2005. Leon was planning. Yellow Herb is not garbage. Yellow Herb is max HP. Yellow Herb is garbage because it's a consumable. Consumables are garbage when I can buy permanent upgrades with the same currency. Oh well. I have to pay respects for the one fucking blue medallion that's somewhere, which is my laser sight in medallion form. Next issue is the permanent upgrade. I mean, maybe I'm going to level with you. I don't really understand what's up with the yellow herb thing because I kind of figured it was like temp HP. Just because you, you can only eat it by taping it to a healing item. So I sort of thought it was like temp HP. Is it not temp HP? Is it like you keep that maximum health forever? Like is every yellow herb you eat like truly permanent maximum HP? Because I thought this was like a barbarian raging and getting an overshield. It is? Oh, okay. Also, whatever the fuck's going on with this thing, which it doesn't super feel like we're going to come back here. But I don't know. Missed a couple of things in here, obviously, but such is life. It is permanent? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Disembodied fuel can. I thought it was max HP until you got hit, and then, like, that max HP would go back down. Like, that was like an overheal. Like, yeah, it says max HP, but I mean, I don't know this game enough to know if I can trust that. It's Capcom, so everything's translated from Japanese, so you just assume it's only half right. Let's go fight that crocodile. Hey, we made it dozens of feet before our shitty boat came out. That was seconds of fun. Oh no, it's the nugget. Stealthy nugget. It's a very sneaky little nugget. Oh, it's like a salamander. Good thing he has terrible aim. All of a sudden, oh. Why are we, we have guns. Where are we getting all these harpoons? How many harpoons are in the boat? Oh, he's being sneaky. I did. Okay, this is definitely did not do an input there. Hello, sir. Fucking pinch him, Leon. Swallow me whole, huh? Pinch him. Glad he's not really like doing anything to us. He's, he's just kind of living his life. <laughs> he's kind of just vibing the lake and we're just sort of being an asshole. Leon, you know we have guns, right? I don't know if any of the head matters. I'm kind of trying to. It always throws an entire extra harpoon after I stop throwing it. I don't know if that's just like, I'm stupid. Like here, watch. Harpoon, I have let go of the control. It's close to the map I'm trying to show anything. Oh, 
That almost always throws an entire extra harpoon and you can't wiggle while you're harpo while you're pooning. I'm not fucking touching any buttons, dude. My hand is off the controller. Hiya! I didn't even hit right trigger at all! I don't even think this thing's trying to eat us. Where'd you go? I think he's just hanging out in his lake. And we're just like annoying. We're definitely just annoying. This is, Resident Evil 4 continues to be an adventure of Leon just being a huge nuisance to everyone he meets. You tough son of a bitch. Well, yeah, we're throwing fucking spears at him, dude. I'm not pushing any buttons. Stop throwing spears. Look a left, I guess. Thought that was a righty. Kind of hard to read it. I went. Okay, this is definitely one of the boss fights of all time. This is. Welcome. This is. I'm gonna Squid put so many harpoons in your butt. Button get. Okay. This battle seems several minutes longer than these, but yeah, they ran out of mechanics literally immediately. <laughs> they had one mechanic and the fight went on for like four minutes anyway. <laughs> Next to 71 months in the pool, you with the shiniest squid, like almost 60 support in the channel. Thank you, my friend. Glad you joined the content. That was, that was one of the boss fights of all time for sure. <laughs> That one seemed like it was really trying to coast on. Look, you're fighting a giant sea, the lake salamander. I, why are, I just, we have guns. Why are we throwing fucking spears at it? Like we have guns. You know we have guns, right? Like you're aware that's a thing that we you had, we 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 carried several of them. Why are you just throwing shit at it? I don't know. Remember the rail shooter prediction? Oh yeah, I guess that would that would yeah solidly fulfill the rail shooter prediction slot. There was there it was. I said two though. That's only one. We'll see if we get a second one. Do you trust Leon's gun aim in the Robbly boat? I'm physically like just throwing sticks at it with my hand. I think the gun would be better. Begins now. When day breaks, you two will join us. Oh, it's Dark Pope. To share in my holy blessing forever. Oh! He's got the fucking cauliflower hands attack from Bloodborne. Expected, but I kind of thought that fight was gonna like do more stuff than it did. Oh, uh, there was gonna be like a little bit more to that when they built up the giant lake monster rather than just like slowly leisurely drift on a romantic boat cruise while just kind of throwing sticks at it for four minutes. <laughs> I sort of thought it would do things. Hello, it's me. Roost. Do you read me? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. my, my boat fine. sunk. I'm sorry. We'll let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Bruised out. You know, you can call me too, right? I guess I see why you wouldn't want to do that if we're on like a secret mission. Like, hello? Leon, pick up. I'm in the middle of infiltrating a fucking cult hideout or something. I'm like, oh, right now, Bruce Condor one's fucking busy. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I can't. I didn't pick up on that. Can you repeat? Oh, neat. 
a hat. I'm not much of a hat guy. Say on the front? Oh, a policia. I mean, I knew it was a police hat. I just thought it would, like, say in a place or maybe something. I'm not, I'm not sure what I was expecting. Yoink. Ah, somebody's life savings. Thank you, impoverished Spanish citizens. That's for me. <laughs> I'll be taking that now. I can't open that one, though. That's where we draw the line. Okie dokie. Let us perhaps pause... Our adventure right here for a minute. Ninja roll across the creaky wooden floor like in RuneScape. If I open my briefcase because it basically mutes the game and I forgot there was just a bunch of fucking fish. <laughs> this briefcase has to be huge, by the way. You've seen how big our fucking rifle is. It is a full-size rifle. Not only does the full-size rifle fit laterally within the length of the case... There's still three more spaces. I could fit the rifle with an entire pistol attached to the front of it. Or like a whole sea bass. It, this briefcase must be the size of my entire body. This is a comically huge briefcase. Anyway, I'm going to take my first actual break of the afternoon. I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs, grab some snacks real quick. Like, I get the munchies real fast. Like, I got to take a break every hour or so. Or Twitch is just going to... Blast! It's advertisement filled load all over everybody. And I would rather, if that has to happen, it not happen during gameplay. So feel free to take a minute, stretch out your little leggies. Don't go too far. It's copy time. BRB. <laughs> Nobody is born cool, except, of course. <laughs> No memes this time, just huge, sincere thanks to Adam and Drake, Alexrin, Asane221, Adamok, Brony Fight Club, Canzoni, Cloud75, JC, Destro, Nets, Falcon Punch, 7272, GR, Jake, Jasteron, Dresnerg, Mokavian, Madness21, Mark Hall, Marshall, Maverick X29, Mercer Holt, Mesa Death101, ML Wolf, Max Toop, Oak Cheese 2010, Peter Carl, Future Shoot Will, Sean Regard, Zingus Patrol, The Noble Search Hero, Taraka, Onkana, Waffle Copter, and Z 2013. Hey there. How would you like a robot to welcome you into the chat every stream? Because coffee subs get that for being very special and cool. Seriously though. Motherfucker, I have no idea, man. Oh, I really was confident in drama tree. Uh, next question. What the hell is this magic door? Not multi-combat, cool. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a wilderness teleport. Why is that a wilderness teleport? Why is that a wilderness teleport? With no warning whatsoever, that just happens. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie then. Sure, why not? Might as well just eat you into the wilderness with no warning. <laughs> oh, video games. Peak fucking video games. <laughs> okay, Redscape. <laughs> Get him, boys! Arms like that? It doesn't do anything. Wow! What are we doing? What the? What? 
which I'm sure I can turn it back later, but that's kind of annoying. How the like construction does anything in this game. You guys want to hear the loudest fucking sound in the world? That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> we started playing RuneScape. We just had our six months last week. So six months and exactly one week, actually, at this point. Find your action bar and spam it. Oh, baby. You know what I like. You know what I'm about. This is what we're here for. Stop right there, criminal You guys are the most annoying fucking sound in the world. God, it's so loud. Back on switching. Welcome back, everybody. Ed should be over for everyone. Question. I don't want to change my difficulty, but I do want to know. Is it in, where's difficulty setting live? That's yeah, not something you can change mid game. What is so there, this game only had three difficulties normal, fuck you, and assist mode. What does assist mode do? Because I, I do think it would be really funny to have at least like maybe not even a whole stream, but a bit of Bryn playing Resident Evil 4. The problem is there is no planet she can play this on normal difficulty. Like that is that is beyond the realm of conceivable. She, she would not be able to do it. This, uh, so is assistive like games journalist? Or is it just like you get slightly more ammo? How does it, it's called assisted. So I'm curious how exactly it works or what all it does. I didn't look really when I was there in the, the difficulty selection because I wasn't going to do it. Tell her to parry before the game does. <laughs> They'll be fine. Bloodborne strats. I imagine it's games journalist difficulty. Everything dies. You lightly sneeze on it. Because like it would need to be, I think, like massively easier than this for her to be able to play it. Because resources in this game are so incredibly limited. Like it, it just like ammo. And I guess I haven't really had any problems with ammo yet, but I can definitely see I don't have a great aim. If your aim was not a whole lot worse than mine, I literally don't even know how you would continue to play the game because you get like such restricted bullets. Unless the game is really like gonna actively start compensating for the fact that your aim is shit and dropping way more bullets for you, which is maybe a thing that happens. Aim assist is on, extra ammo from crafting, you heal automatically if low HP and more items are discon discounted at the merchant. You heal automatically if low HP, meaning like, oh, you automatically use items. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm down to have her try it. I hear you. I'm going to kick this barrel and y'all keep having your little cold meeting or whatever i'm just gonna like barrel kick oh heals you without an item oh like literal invincibility or like if you end a fight in red you just go back up to green oh the herbs also just grow naturally i guess that makes sense is green green red a mix it is not no i can add another green or a yellow to that Doki. It's in like anything like the other Resident Evil remakes. If you're completely awful and keep dying and missing, the game does get easier. Oh, uh, okay. Because that's something I think would be necessary. Just because this, she is not, like, aiming is going to be her problem. And just the scarcity of ammo feels like this is going to be extremely punishing to the point of, like, actually unplayable for her. Just because she's not, like, it, it, aiming and shooters are not a thing that she has, like, any experience with. So I, I think she's just gonna literally just run out of bullets constantly and die. Hey, it's Noodlehead Man. Fucking hey, Noodlehead Man. He's the worst. Let's 
Not that many shots. It was only like six. Can I help you? Drop the knife! Drop the knife! He's not doing it. You gotta throw the fucking centipede. Yep, you're serious. Like, I ain't played four, but I did play five, and it had the same shit in it, so I know how this dance fucking goes. What the fuck? Okay, so noodle heads are now on the table, which are just bullet taxes. <laughs> At least that was uh, Resident Evil Five. These enemies, the like flaily noodle head mans in Resident Evil Five, super just felt like bullet taxes whenever they spawned in. Because as far as I could tell, they were just really tanky, really slow. And just, you had to put a lot of ammo into them. Resident Evil 4 was one of the first games that had a dynamic difficulty where the game adjusts itself depending on how well you do. In the original? That's pretty impressive. Considering how fucking long ago that was. That's pretty cool. He did not drop knife, so I dropped his head. Look, we're police, right? I gotta, we gotta get in character. It's actually really neat that it would do that back in the GameCube. Okay, so the experience I'm having is not the experience she would have necessarily. Because I do, I do think it'd be really funny to have her try and play this a little bit. I think she'd like it, and the horror elements would be just truly hilarious for place? all of us. But I also really do think she basically couldn't play it if it was like this, just because of uh, resource management and general aiming. Hello? Some kind of shrine. Two hands. I guess they do usually come in pairs. Same mark from the church. Oh, it is? Okay. I don't have anything to put in your weird hands. Okay. All right, weird hands. I guess, again, I'm not sure who is going around installing all of this shit. I'm using my fucking sniper rifle in a cave because I have a preponderance of rifle bullets. <laughs> I just need to fire at people. It's the lake. Oh, they drew the little salamander man. They drew the little boy. So there's two. I assume bottom left is where he came from. There's two, like, noodle snaky red skull thingies. One of which is, I think, where we currently are, and the other one's in a mini lake up to the northeast. Oh. There's a map. There's a map. Oh, there's a map map. This is... Okay, so it's divided into chapters, but it's actually still... I was super right about everything we were, though. There's also still divided into some kind of degree of... I don't know if open world is the right word. We have a treasure map, it'll be a set of locations of hidden valuables. Oh, yeah, we did buy a treasure map, and I fucking instantly forgot about it, huh? That's the locked drawer below the shooting range. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. Ah, so we just missed like a fuck ton of treasure. Good to know. We just already came in originally. We, yeah, this is the building I couldn't figure out how to fucking get into. I know the gap in the wall is there, but I don't know how to get into it. You, have to, you need to, like a boost for that. And these are the way shrines. Okay, we haven't figured out how, how to open those yet. Okay. This is getting a little bit kind of open worldy. There's two treasures on a sunken ship. Okie dokie. I have learned about the map. That does seem valuable. Hey, can someone, like, walk at me in an extremely straight line? Because 
I really just need to spend some rifle ammo <laughs> just for, for ammunition balance reasons. I like how he carries the rifle and the flashlight. It sounds sarcastic, but like it actually kind of makes a degree of sense. Again, this rifle fits in my suitcase. <laughs> Long ways. Ah, blue thingamajiggy. Oh, we're going to get our own boat. That boat sucked. We're going to get a boat that sucks less. Someone fetch me a rare golden chicken egg. What will I do with it? Well, sometimes it's more fun not knowing, right? Golden chicken egg. Oh. Now, these only get marked on the map if I try to use them. Oh, this is just openable. Oh! So now I have the key to all the various way shrines. Okay, so we just fucking, like, super... I think this is the open the game point. We're about to get a boat. Here's the... I told you fucking backtracking. I, I really... Wow, you guys were not kidding when you started telling us you didn't play this game. No, there's really... I really did just, like, call every fucking aspect of this game, didn't I? So... I'm about to get in a boat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just free drive. But it looks like there are a lot of various piers that I'll be able to go chill at and explore things and now we have this big map so i think i think we just opened up navigation like big time navigation so it's like almost open world yep a boat now and i'm just gonna throw, throw harpoons at people because since i get in a boat i forget how to use my gun I don't know what that is, but I'll throw a fucking harpoon at it immediately. It looks like it's probably just some crap. It was actually a barrel and it had a dollar in it. Okay, look, I'm serious. Please watch. Do you see? I just want you to know. I promise it is not me. He just, he throws them in pairs. The man is... Is very. I don't know how I could have made that more clear. Like he, he he just throws two of them. I'm not doing it. He just throws two of them. It's a two round burst harpoon. And this takes you right back to this merchant with the shooting range. He's just holding and releasing left bumper. Doesn't know you have to hit right trigger to throw it. I have a key. Give me this random treasure. Thank you. It is a brass pocket watch. That's mine. Double pump to assert dominance. I'm not gonna bother fucking getting up in the morning to throw one harpoon at somebody. If I'm throwing a harpoon, we're throwing two harpoons. Okay. Hey, it's got a war. I just drive over a bunch of barrels and get free shit. To the dock right there. What's at the other end of the cave? Hey, a dollar. Hey, a dollar. Hey, a da hey, a dollar. What oh, spits out? What? Oh, there's like a secret hole. This wasn't on the map. Okay. So this wasn't on the map until we came in here. Pull it around. Oh, look at that parking job. Doesn't matter. We get cutscene anyway, but still. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Would still like to rifle somebody. So I assume the way shrine key is reusable. A pretty splendid bangle. Okay. That looks like it's going to want a whole lot of rectangular gemstones before I turn it in. Like that. That's a rectangular gemstone. It's just treasure hole. Magical fucking treasure hole. Sir, I wish you would pull out your flashlight like 10,000% more often than you do. <laughs> it would just make our lives a lot easier, you know? Like, if we could see anything. Okay, so this looks like it... Just loops out through. So let's go back to the place where we're supposed to be, and then we'll just come out this way. I'll not chance there's anything else cool in here. Do 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 do. Boat. 
Okay, next section, please. Door does not open from this side. No good. Brother. Huh. Won't open. Brother, reach through. <laughs> Come on. My homie. Just reach around and unbolt it. Look how much fucking space there. You could put your whole ass head between these bars. Come on, man. I need, I'm gonna need like the smallest amount of effort from you, Leon. You're really letting me down. I'm about to rifle pump a dude at extremely fucking short range. Hey, you. Give me a centipede. Yeah, double stab just to be sure. <laughs> Look, he's wiggling, okay? I don't really have a lot of confidence. Also, I immediately got both my rifle bullets. Oh, I see a motherfucker. Fuck, you just call me? Fucking show you when I... There it is. Okay, rifle pops those pretty good. Oh shit. There's another asshole. Hey, fuck you guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm having fun. On today's episode of completely and totally fucking unnecessary. We have throwing a grenade at literally just one guy. Whoa. All right. We've reached the weird centipede portion of the program. Are you throwing fucking dynamite? Oh, he's throwing Molotovs. Quit it. Knock that shit off immediately. Okay, so good news. Rifle really good at killing centipedes. So if a centipede comes out, I'm just gonna grab them because they're or not centipedes, but noodle man head. There's centipedes in a noodle five. At least it kind of look like centipedes. Kitchen knife. Do I want to do anything with a kitchen knife these days? What do I even do with a kitchen knife these days? How did you even die? What the hell? What the fuck killed you? Did I bounce a bullet off the wall like? fucking wanted style and bisect your entire torso what the fuck caliber is this how the hell did this happen i haven't even been over here that necro thing is zelda having a good time with it it was super fun i was just sad that it didn't have a lot of content apparently it actually has like necro dingus mode now it was a little late use hello No conceivable way I could have reached through and done that from the other side. Shut up. Shit. Twisty son of a bitch. Hey, you fucking tell him. I am gonna go through rifle ammo pretty quickly if I'm just fucking rifling everything though. Okay, let's let's probably stop rifling every enemy just because I'm having a good time doing it, and then let's make more rifle ammo. Okay. Okie dokie. He's gonna throw shit at me. Hey, shut up. Nice dodge, idiot. There's the fucking dynamite. Here it comes. Here it fucking comes. Fucking range. Okay, that's that's a little less long. 
That's a long boy. I guess it is a very long tentacle, understandably. That's that's got some reach on it. It's a pretty so how much does a fish do? Mm, delicious fish. <laughs> Strap, did miss anything important today? Uh, I threw a whole lot of fucking harpoons. I got a boat, and now this is an open world game. Light it. Drop it. Drop it! <laughs> you spit that out right now! What's in your mouth? <laughs> we are actually kind of running on bullets. need to knife fight more people I feel like I probably can't knife fight a uh... probably can't knife fight a tentacle monster I don't think that's gonna go super well this yellow crap over the wall right here what is that trying to tell me just to come over here use the yellow crap to highlight things what the fuck in the what in the fucking zodiac is this shit okay Oh, God. I see what the yellow stuff is trying to tell me. It's just symbols. I'm surprised he just got bisected, but both halves of him are still fully intact on account of, you know, he blew up. I don't need to drop the dynamite if he just waits out the fuse. A lot of the dynamite guys die by just, you know, exploding. Yeah, so what the fuck is this shit? What was the interaction here? Okay, well, I see butt plug calipers. Butt plug calipers. Uh, what's over here? Clothing brand. All right. That this, but sideways? Okay, it's three buttons. Is that part of this? Okay, what's I don't know a third button. I only see two. That was a third button. Is someone gonna ambush me while I'm looking at this? Yin Yang, if they've decided to stop renewing their friendship. Okay. So I wanna say that first one's this and then butt plug and then you was that maybe it was this was that the first time okay it was that, was that the first time? welcome squidling to the squiddy pool uh hi <laughs> Prayodo. 101 months in the pool going strong in the fucking triple digit club you were the shiniest squidling thank you for the continued support You had to go out of your way. It's a statue. Like you had to, you had to go out of your way to just fill it with blood. For for what reason? Just so it'd be more difficult for the next person who had to replace the head. I assume. Oh shit! I'm taking a drink, sir. Put it, put it down! Drop it! Oh, oh no! What happened? <laughs> I was... Anyway. Um, first of all, I guess I just kind of shoved that in my pocket. So, you know, I'll just hang on to that in case I need it later. What a beautiful fucking combo. Fuck did you come from? Light it. Idiot. Currently dealing with another customer. Thank you. I'm currently dealing with another customer. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, Wiggly Man is coming. Bruh, I'm busy. Where's Wacky Waving and Flutable Arm Flailing Tube Man? There he is. Alright. There we go. Fuckers leave bullets everywhere and not one of them has a damn gun. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why they have so many bullets laying around. Not one impoverished Spaniard has pulled a gun out on me. I don't know what happened to that guy. All right, so I guess the other head is going to be at the other location. So we'll go to the other location to get back on my boat. Boink. Bullets were on special. Yeah, what are you going to do? Not buy them? Dude, when they have a buy two, get one free sale on boxes of handgun ammunition, you'd be stupid not to buy them. Like, legitimately, though, that was kind of... I don't know if this was just my grandma or, like, everyone's grandma, but... That was what my grandma actually thought. When, when they would go to the store, if anything was on sale, she'd buy it. Doesn't matter if she used that, never used that, didn't even really know what it was. She's on If it's on sale, she'd buy it. It was like, well, I, then I have it if it's on sale, if I ever need it. I'm like, ah, that's where I get it from. I see. <laughs> I, you need all this in case I need it. Um, oh, the stone pedestal is the thing with the tech. Okay, so we will definitely come back here. Fair enough. Is that just everyone's grandma? Was that just from, like, the era where advertising really started to become extremely effective? And we had not, like, as a society, geared ourselves up to deal with it yet? So an entire, like, generation of old folks just got absolutely fucking fleeced? It's in the middle of the lake, though. I want to get this little boat. I want to be a boatist. How do I get on the boat? Where do I park? Does this boat have parking? What the fuck? Ah. I hear parking, probably. Oh, wow. Do you have any cool stuff on your boat? I'm an Alexandrite. That does seem like it's cool stuff. Ah! Hello! You have Red 9. That is what is inscribed on the handle. It is a Red 9. Okay. We have a fucking Luger. Uh, okie dokie. So let's see, the Punisher. Short barrel, low rear, can make it easy to handle, optimal choice sidearm, does some damn hogway. Powerful handgun. Large red nine is burned to good to prevent the user from loading incorrect ammo. Do you just use like pistol bullets or are you air first magnum? How do you tell? Power 150. Okay, it punches pretty fucking hard for a pistol. But not hard enough to make me think that it uses magnum ammo. But hard enough to make me think that it may possibly be a better idea as our uh, go-to pistol. Starting at 150 is pretty gross, considering I think this fully upgraded made it to 140. Uh, that's... God damn it, this spider bite's starting... It's getting the phaser just itching really hard, and I can't stop fucking scratching it. And nothing helps! Nothing fucking helps! It's not an allergic reaction. Better do doesn't do shit. Well, let's go talk to the merchant man. Who lives over here? Hello, merchant man. Charming a dryer sheet on it. It works for mosquito bites. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm gonna go get a dryer sheet. <laughs> Not because I also spider bites probably a very different situation, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Because it is very fucking itchy. 
And I am now willing to try things to make it be less itchy. Can't yeah, use regular handgun ammo. What's the catch? Oh, you're hilariously inaccurate. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Uh... Mm, uh, mm, oh, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about that one, Chief. Um, ooh, oh, that's a fucking crosshair right there. Holy shit. This is a shotgun in pistol form. I'm going to go get a dryer sheet just out of morbid curiosity. Forgo your comfort. You you do you, little dog. All right, let me see. Let me see. I have a dryer sheet. A dryer sheet. This is, works on a mosquito bite. It's not a mosquito bite, but... I mean, currently it feels good on account of... I'm itching my finger with it. So, you know, it's doing its business right there. It also now smells very nice. So, <laughs> we have that going for us. Yeah. All right, well... Let's see. Let's see what happens. I have something I think you like. Welcome. You get, oh, you got a bunch I've of new shit. Something new for you, mate. Okay, so I don't have to find new locations for you to update. You just update. Oh boy, fucking howdy. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Holy shit. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, so I can buy a mask that looks like it has three slots for round gems. It literally says three round recesses on the brow. And a red rectangular. I am... This is... Yeah, you have two rectangular. Suit yourselves. I have two rectangular. I want... Well, I want pairs, right? How do I see that fucking thing again? Where do I see... Fuck. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Duo, okay. Matching. Until you get to five or four. Matching. No, four matching is still better. Until you get to five, matching is better than mixing. So for trio, I would want a third ruby. So I'd want to set this with two amethysts because a duo bonus is just the best that you can get when there's only two slots. I'm, I don't know if this is like some kind of weird ass fucking confirmation bias or not, but I swear to God, the dryer sheet is actually making it stop itching. Welcome. I... I... I want you to know I was so prepared to just shit all over this stupid ass recommendation, but like this is absolutely working. That is that is a million percent working. It's super duper working. God damn. If placebo fixes are still fixes, well, I feel like a placebo fix, I have to believe it's gonna work, right? That's like the concept of a placebo is you think it's gonna work and then it works, and I had literally zero faith in it. That it's still Your working. Weapons are in good hands, mate. I guess I can I'll just sell you my kitchen knives. Too, They're so valueless. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. I don't know what to do with these. I guess it's not terrible to have backup knives if I need them. Or repair my knife. It's always step one. Keep the knife going. Jeez, this thing is gonna just punch holes in people. Okay. A well-tuned weapon. God, it's so inaccurate, dude. It's skin. so inaccurate. Oh, I don't know if I can survive that, but 
pump, fucking fully upgrade, this thing is gonna be a damn rifle shot. We're, it's gonna be really good for killing people that are not just like regular peasants. And also for ammo, ammo conservation, because I'm gonna have to shoot people less times on account of I'm gonna shoot them and they're gonna fucking explode. I think the main thing I want right now is shotgun fuck. I do like my shotgun and my shotgun do be fucking. I have confidence in that. And I have confidence in this. This kind of work if I find finesse, something that I stranger. and then, then I can do this It'll and that synergizes really well right there. Way. If I find you something see. I like better than this shotgun, I'm going to sell the shotgun back anyway. And I'll get refunded the vast majority of this. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to try. I'm not going to put any money into it yet. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try this fucking whack-ass pistol. Boy, howdy, I do not have a lot of small ammo. Oh, you don't sell, like, Welcome. bullets, do you? I've got something new for you. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save your life. Why do you have this? I'm fighting Spanish peasants. I don't need a military grade rocket propelled grenade to fight peasants. <laughs> Shit, I'd like to buy this. I guess that probably doesn't matter as much if I'm not going to do... I don't actually care about that that much. I want the case upgrade is the main thing I want right here. I'm really not bothered by this. Because why not? Anything well, we'll come back with some more pitas for the chapter ends, I guess. That's how you load it? I... <laughs> what in the Sam fuck? It's this pistol. What have I just picked up? What the hell is this thing? Okay. He just insert a rack of fucking bolt. Where's my boat? Did I get fucking bojacked? Oh no, I parked at the other pier. I don't think. Did I get fucking robbed? No, other pier. This dude's got two, two peers. Dumb question. Does this update? Because I noticed the previous ones were called 1A, 1B, and 1C. Okay, no, it does not. I wonder if you, you probably need to find new locations for that, I assume. He probably is. I already beat them all. Make more fucking mini games. So I can spend four more hours down here wasting my life. It wasn't like four hours. We had 15 minutes and had all of them today. The pistol one is by far the hardest of the first three. Just because. God damn, I did it again. Because the pistol is so comically fucking inaccurate. And they, they go, hey. Here's a target that is significantly smaller than the spread of the pistol. Good luck, idiot. Also, it's moving at a billion... Okay, you can shoulder check doors today, I learned. Where the fuck did I park? Where did I fucking park my boat? Boat. Oh, this way. <laughs> Don't worry, I figured it out. We're over here. This time, final answer. Pistol to an anchor. He says trying the newer, more inaccurate pistol. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here's the thing about this pistol. It's going. It's totally unupgraded and is only going to do very slightly more damage than the other pistol. With the trade-off being probably like basically everything. Uh, it's going to super inaccurate. I imagine its rate of fire fucking sucks. 
It's reloads probably ass. It's got a smaller clip. It doesn't say it has penetration like the other one does. I fully expect this to suck donkey balls, but all I want at this particular test, this is the land of the chickens. Thank you. Thank you for your I'll be this. The yoink. Okay, so this is Chicken Island. <laughs> if you need any delicious eggs for your omelets, come see us at Chicken Island. I know getting the golden egg returned to the guy was one of our missions. That mission's not going anywhere. I'll turn it in next time we see him. Oh my God, look at all these barrels, dude. It's all this money. Developer makes a boat section where you don't accrue meager amounts of resources by running over random floating barrels. Challenge 2023 difficulty impossible. Hello. I am here and I have a fucking weird pistol. This place is much smaller. Okay. This is gonna be much less fighty, I think. Maybe the chicken drop more eggs. You know how a chicken works. Okay, so we got three daggers. We have Happy Pepe. And we have the Triumvirate. Three daggers. Happy Pepe. And the Triumvirate. I realize now order does not matter. It is just hitting the right three buttons. On account of there was no conceivable order to that. Ah, resources small, you say. Don't mind if I do. Sorry, did you say literally instantly craft handgun ammo? There you go. Give me your dome, please. Whoever's job it is to fill these things with strawberry jam. You really, I'm sure there is a better container that you can use. Like, I am, I am confident you can find a better place to put your jam. Don't mind if I fucking do. Thank you. Oh, there was a treasure. There was a treasure in the chicken coop. What the what the what the fuck are the chickens hiding from me? Hold on. The chickens are store are stashing their secrets. Also, I want to read this book that was on the ground. That was on the ground. That was there was a there's a fuck. There was definitely a book. Note to self, the hexagon pieces are not marked on the map, so uh, just look really hard. Where the fuck was the book? Was there a book on the ground? Am I crazy? <laughs> it's actually a jam jar. I'm just holding it upside down. You're supposed to keep the like the necky hole upright so the jam doesn't spill out. You idiot. Well, there's a lot of other shit that I can open that I didn't see, so... An open book, however, I have recently forgotten how to read, so. I... Maybe it was just this. I thought there was, it was rifle ammo. I saw the rifle ammo. I was thinking maybe I saw the rifle ammo or thought it was the prop of the rifle ammo. I thought there was a book we could read, but it might have just been the rifle ammo. That did get us a hexagon piece and also some other crap, though, so that's cool. Chickens! Chickens. What are you hiding, chickens? What are you keeping from me? Okay, that's kind of hit. I'll give him. I'll give him that one. You, you get a pass. Can I interest you in some eggs? 
We would nice. I could make a very nice omelet right now. I have some delicious eggs. I have a what well, feels like massive amount of health. Have I been here? Where is this? That's the back of the farm. Oh, I want to go up there and grab the stuff. This turning into an open world thing is actually pretty interesting. I think you got the extra egg. I think that's true. I have the double power fucking egg heal. So we are, I think at this point, actually immortal. Oh, this is pointless pier. What did you just say to me? Out of the way. Move, I need to pillage you. There's a way shrine up this way. Didn't I left some bear traps? Oh, I thought he like just kind of half-heartedly threw a torch on the ground. Hi. Uh, that accuracy is uh fuck okay, I kicked his head off. You're serious. You ever kick a dude's skull off of his body? Just me, the roundhouse kicking champion of Earth? What's this? The Red Knight absolutely fucks though. It definitely is definitely got some Demoglio. Unupgraded, it's punching harder than the previous weapon was fully upgraded. So like I definitely cannot argue with the amount of damage that the weapon deals. Can you just pull out your fucking flashlight? Thank you. Oh, I thought I had a smoke. Yeah, I used it. Then down here at the very back of this, in the little tunnel, there's apparently a treasure. Because, oh my god, because when we came here the first time, the chapter immediately ended. Oh, red tear stone ring. Fuck yeah. That's some bullshit. The chapter immediately ended when I came down here before. You couldn't loot this. You came down and you got the guy the second the chapter was over and he woke up in the guy's house. You have to come back try to get this. Three years ago, my beloved daughter passed away shortly after giving birth to a son. Now the boy is older. His very curious child has a true thirst for knowledge. He even tries to follow after me when I go out hunting. Can't take my eyes off him for a second. Whenever we walk in the forest, he always asks me to tell stories. He's very fond of the guy who fights windmills. Although he's still small, the boy's smart and observant beyond his years. If he weren't stuck here, maybe he would be like a scholar or something. But we're impoverished peasants in a remote Spanish village. Oh, whoopsies. I thought I shot right through a wolf's face, but then it wolfed at me. I made it back to the cabin, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. My body moves on its own, and I can hear voices inside my head. Am I losing my fucking mind? <laughs> ah, I see. Patient Zero was just some dog in the woods. <laughs> this is this is zombie land. It's just modified mad cow disease. But instead of mad cow, it's mad dog. It's mod mildly upset. This is the picture frame, right? Yeah, okay. I feel like I remember things. I'm not completely beyond help. Boink. All right, I can't open the other thing. Door with insignia. Where's a ladder here? This door with insignia. There's the bear trap we left. All right, this door. Yeah, I don't know how to get in here. Uh, I figured out how to get in here. Okay, last time we were here, we did not have the insignia key, right? I don't think we've been back here have we been back here we have not been back here because there's a challenge could someone catch the gigantic fish that lives in the lake for me sell a lunker bass i gotta catch a fucking lunker 
thinking it'll catch a big lag. Hello? That's why the ladder doesn't connect to anything. Cause of that. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Oh, she looks like she's taking a nap. Oh, should leave her. Should leave her be. She's she's resting. Ah. Okay. This feels like fucking boss fight arena, eh? Are you going to stand up and do horrible fucking asshole things to me? Because I feel like you're going to stand up and do horrible asshole things to me. Just mostly on account of how much of a fucking boss fight room this looks like. Ah, Smokey. Oh, didn't make anything show up. Okay. Surprisingly safe area. Oh, I hear a fucking thingy. Nice. See a little bitch ass back there. Fucking creaky little man that I'm definitely not finding all 16 of. I will at least find some of them. Pardon me, I have to go fishing. Wonderful. I'm not sure how you're supposed to avoid this stuff. You know, I'm gonna fucking nade these. I don't think I hit any of them. Oh, I definitely did based on the loot and the audience laying on the ground. Oh, nice fucking angle, dude. Great arc. 10 out of 10. Dude's a champ. That's why executing people on the ground takes a shit ton of knife durability. Because you can stop people from transforming into the way worse things by downed knifing them. And it's not really meant to be used on just like normal dudes who fell down. That's like if it's a anti like spamming tax. This A round clip is fucking killing me, dude. Aha! Plus four. Dogs are just hard to kill. Dogs are quite tanky. Uh, this, this, we're starting to fight a, what feels like decent assortment of enemies. That's 12. A decent assortment of enemies who have like a very straightforward attack that it feels like I should just be sidestepping. I guess I'm supposed to just like run to the side and sprint. It's the tentacle, like doggo tentacle poking and regular tentacle guys slapping down. Like I, it's very, very well telegraphed, but I don't know how the hell I would dodge it. I don't have a dodge. <laughs> like I don't have any way, to, like maybe it's variable. I don't have a way to move around to that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about it, other than maybe just like turn to the side and run a little bit. Now, where's this fucking lunker? He's right over to this this boathouse in the back. Is it that little fucker right there? Is it that guy? You big hoss? Oh, that looks like a big fucking boy. Oh, that's a lad. That's a fucking unit. Stop throwing two of them.
fuck. Uh. Yes. Oh my god. Do the B evade thing? Yeah, got it. The only time the B thing popped up was fighting Cowman. Because he spins in a circle with his, his giant fuck off mallet at like head level and you literally just duck under it. I mean, maybe you could duck under the stabby ones. You have two sacks of gunpowder. I don't know how to combine them. That's what I was looking for. Well, I mean, can I just put one on the other? Oh, you just put them on top of each other. Okay. That's what I was looking for when I was looking at the little menu on the gunpowder. It was like a combine option. I don't know where the merchant is. I need to sell this fish. My inventory is fucking full. I need to go vendor some shit. I gotta sell some shit to the man. We've also got 10 billion heating, uh, healing items. I'm too good at the game. Help. He's unstoppable. Immediately get access to open world. Sidetrack for 45 minutes. I have another hexagon, which isn't taking up space in my thingy, but I do have one. Merry Christmas. There you go. And we'll obviously turn them all so they're facing inward when I find the last one. Hey, can I exchange some of my fucking healing for bullet? I think this gun is totally usable. I think the extra damage kind of makes up for the accuracy. For his benefit, Bloody is a really good throwing arm. Yeah, sure he's shit on Dark Souls character. He may have zero fucking mobility. He's got a hell of an arm. I'll give him that. Hello, sir. Welcome. Got May I interest selection? you in? Good things on sale, stranger. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. Am I done Price with you? Will. That's our choice to make. Is that the only other door I need? This? It's at the top of the list all of a sudden. Fucking five grand for the locker. I'm afraid to sell this. Perfect. You're a I know it said old key items that don't matter anymore can be sold. And I guess none of the rest of the key items show up. Yeah, I guess that means we're done with the insignia. Okay, I guess we've unlocked every insignia. I'm going to trust you, Resident Evil. <laughs> well done. You've proven yourself reliable. Will that be all then? No, I... Well, suddenly don't care about the laser sight anymore. He's killing me. Years haven't been kind to us. On account of I can't put that on the thing. So yellow herb is permanent max health. So that's very good. And I should take it. I could make a bunch more money by buying this and that. Pleasant travels. And then I can't do three of one, but I can do triplicate. Oh, I can't do three of one. Actually, I have all the rubies. Three of one's better, right? We decided three of one is better. Yeah, three of one's better. Yeah, okay. Trio is another 10% higher than one of each. Okay, well, I bought the yellow for, like, no reason. But, you know, someday we're going to put a five color in something and it's going to be a fucking banger. Fancy red ruby mask. I can convert Welcome. my spinels into schmackles. Well I can convert my fun money into real money. Oh, now he sells a red barrel. Did he have that before? Not What's sure, maybe. That? How have we procured these curiosities? A decent size. But size... Repurchase. Okay, and then I can get stuff back. Hey, can you consider selling bullet? That I guess I should buy this. Boy, well then. Happy cooking. Consider selling bullets. Anything I would give I you like a lot of money. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kick. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. This kind of work right. is about fit. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> I don't really want to get rid of the Punisher because 
that penetration power line there that might mean this pierces through like i know resident evil 5 again my only fame reference only one i've played you get those like tiki shield dudes who were a humongous pain in my ass if you didn't have a gun that could shoot through their shields holy shit they sucked until i got a gun that could penetrate them and if there's no reason to get rid of it well a fuck ton of money is the reason to get rid of it but if there is something like that in this and we get to an area with a preponderance of those assholes i'm gonna want to pull out the over penetrating pistol discover that's not what the description means and then sell it so i can upgrade my uh red nine for now the red nine do be fucking pretty good damage is damage the most important stat on the gun is does it make people dead the other stats are secondary amount of deadness is definitely the primary thing we are always looking for this is okay, okay why did i park here i forgot there's a pier much closer to the thing og resident before you sold ammo but you couldn't craft ammo uh, okay so they just moved it around to crafting wrong direction a very 2020 of them we had some light crafting mechanics so food is also like an infinite fucking resource because there is the there's chicken island and there are 10 billion fucking fish in the lake which you can just throw your infinity harpoons at so like healing items are not a consumable resource i assume i'm gonna put my jam jars shaped like heads on these hands and then some weird shit is gonna happen before we get into the weird shit though i should stand up and take another break gotta take a break every hour because the modern state of twitch requires that we spam about a zillion ads per minute to everyone and twitch is going to do that whether or not I do it manually, so I'd rather it be happening while there's no gameplay in the background. My goal here is to make sure no one's viewing experience gets interrupted by ads. I just give you all a nice break where you can stand up, walk away, just leave the tab open and let them fucking play. Also, nobody gets pre-rolls, so that's pretty important to me too. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go refill my water. Don't go too far, everybody. Copy time. Then I'm gonna put some weird jam jars on some hands. Oh, that's what the slots in the hands are for! So you can put jam in them. Nobody is born cool, except of course. No memes this time, just huge, sincere thanks to Adam and Drake, Alexrin, Asane221, Adamok, Brony Fight Club, Canzoni, Cloud75, JC, Destro, Nets, Falcon572, GR, Jake, Jasteron, Dresnerg, Mokavian, Madness21, Mark Hall, Marshall, Maverick X29, Mercer Holt, Mesa Death101, ML Wolf, Max Tube, Oak Cheese2010, Peter Carl, Future Future Will, Sean Regard, Zingus Patrol, The Noble Search Hero, Taraka, Onkana, Wafflecopter, and Zfold 2013. Hey there. How would you like a robot to welcome you into the chat every stream? Because coffee subs get that for being very special and cool. Seriously though. I know there's a very pretty number on the board right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm already dead. I think I just owe uh, myself. Hold all these, please.
<laughs> in my defense, he was also dead. Because if I threw the icicle, it was more than 2191 damage. So I also one shot at the boss. I, I consider that an absolute win. We also one shot at it. I'm taking that one. There was a neutral. He technically lives because we didn't throw the orb, but the orb definitely also killed him. It was a draw. You all saw it. Ah. Numbers. That's our use base 12. We came full circle. Oh my god. We've come full circle. No way. The Desarius base 12. <laughs> so, picture this. Mm -hmm. You're a wizard trapped deep down in a cave with no spell slots remaining for anything meaningful. And there's a giant cave monster thing in front of you. Happens all the time. What do you do? First action, use a cantrip, cast guidance on yourself. You get a small attack bonus for this loaded crossbow you have ready in your other hand. And second action, fire. Bury a bolt deep inside this monster's hide, hopefully. Uh, but almost certainly not killing it. Uh, we don't want it to kill us back, so third action, probably defensive. You can use a second cantrip for shield to put a small ward up in front of yourself. Get a little bonus to armor class. And second thought, if we're this close, then we just use the first action to move our speed 25 feet away. Safer, yeah. Use the second action to continue moving away, and then we can use the third action to keep on just moving away. Maximum safety. And that's why the three action system is the best thing about Pathfinder 2. And so the great thing about this is it's just such a variety of actions that you can do. Right. I mean, you can you can do physical actions. You can try to grab someone, shove them, trip them, aside from just moving around the battlefield or swinging at something with your sword. And that doesn't take any training. That doesn't take any investment. Nobody needs to spend feats or resources to do that. Oh, yeah. It's just one of the things that is an option. Uh, at all times, just passively throughout combat. You got things like fainting an enemy to try and make it easier to hit them, uh, or opportunities like intimidating someone to try and frighten them and lower basically all mm -hmm. of their offenses and defenses briefly. And there's so many skills that interact with these actions that so if you invested in them, you just feel so good about being able to use them in the middle of a fight. My social skills become useful. But it doesn't get stuck in that pigeonhole where your character is only good at the like the one or two things that you're really specialized in doing. Sure, sure, you'll be better at those things, but everyone is at least passively competent in a wide array of different approaches to combat different styles. Oh, sure. Like, if you have hands and a brain, you can do these things. <laughs> you run to the ground floor, you can do these things. First level. Good news, everyone. We have reached the point of puppy life where uh, Gigi wants to... <laughs> It's very important to her that she comes in the bathroom with me while I'm using the bathroom so that she can, you know, hang out and provide camaraderie. That's... Hooray! Previously, this is the first time she's wanted to go in the bathroom. I think she just doesn't really like tile floors, and usually she wouldn't go in there. She'd just sit outside and look at me, and I closed the door. But this time, she fucking ran in there and was like, nope. I ain't letting you poop alone. <laughs> you need moral support, and I am dog. Ah, perfect. All the jam is going to go in the hands now. I have a thingy. I'm going to level with you. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> but, but you know what matters is that I have it. Is it, did the church gate require that? I don't feel like the church gate required that, but maybe I'm wrong. 
Quite a few treasures we just missed on the way into this big factory. I don't know how we'd get back there without a long fucking walk, though. It sounds like we're kind of making our way back around to town anyway. Oh, we're gonna call and find out. The guy was too fast on the map button. Found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get Baby Eagle. Right. No time to chat. We're going in. Condor one out. <laughs> no time to chat, he says, calling her on her phone. Uh, yes, hello? Hey, this is Leon. I have the objective. No time to talk. Sorry, gotta go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't... You don't have to tell me. We're not... I'm not like your moral support. I'm, I'm here to give you the direction. If you need, I guess, I guess you can check in sometimes. I mean, are we, are we friends? Are we like, would we hang out outside of work? Do you think? No, never mind. You got, you got, you got something to do. You go, go do your mission. You're, you're good. <laughs> BRB side quests. Maybe Eagle is probably fine. BRB is seeing if this fucking merchant is adding anything to his goddamn shooting range. Oh, and they want us to go out. So, oh, I have to go out this way. No, I could come around back this way. I'm just trying to think. They obviously want me to go through here. So that whatever was in the quarry could spawn. And I'm going to do it so I can see whatever's in the quarry. But then I want to go around the other way. Because that's where it looks like a lot of the stuff I haven't gotten is. This is... Oh, it was way shrine on the map. This is a way shrine over there, too. Ah, but... Butterfly lamp, apparently, is what that's called. With three fucking slots. Okay, I'm going to need some gemness. We're going to hang on to that. I'm ready. Not that I have like a lot of yeah, very little ammo, but you know, we'll fucking they have several flashbangs and a pistol. There it is. I know you want me to come this way. I'll come this way. I could have gone around. Don't you come to blah blah? <laughs> All right, Mister. Oh, the cave troll. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is whole ass a cave troll. What the fuck? That's a, just actually just a cave troll. God damn you, big boy. That is a big bitch. I don't know how to prevent that from happening. Again, I feel like there's a dodge button the game just forgot to tell me about. I really the game feels like I should be able to dodge things. Doesn't it? Just like movement based? I don't know, it's a little weird. Oh, we've got a you got worms too? I assume I'm shooting at that thing. Okay. Yeah, 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 it's got a little mouth. Okay, we got knifey. Put some ammo in this. <laughs> what is this sip? Hey, it's that dog. Okay. I don't know that the dog is going to help me fight a giant who was about to pick up a building and throw it at me. Dog, I appreciate that you're here. You want me to bait him over here? Get him, Puppo! I got no concept of what you could conceivably do to a fucking 
19 foot tall giant man but you do your best little puppy dog i'm gonna load my gun yeah fuck his achilles tendon yep that's oh, he's surprisingly fine dude this dog's a crappy little bitch all right <laughs> oh, we're not meleeing him? Oh, I thought it was melee. Fuck. Rip that entire opening. I thought that was the go punch him signal. All right. I cannot believe I hit that. God, he's good. How does he fucking do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to go see what's in this broken house because I see that he has revealed crates. Welcome, Squidling, to the Squid. Full of yeah, hopefully ammo. Most of it was ammo. That's good. That's the I stuff that I need. Ammo's finally good. Getting to enjoy one of the best games in glorious 4K. Also, take my money. Ooh. And so uh, man be sleeping. I'll just keep running. Please stop. Oh, he's got the thing out still. So about the accuracy problem on this pistol. <laughs> We're experiencing that a little bit. Hia! 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 Knifey! Knifey! Okay. Okay. God damn. That was almost a pancake. He a gemstone. Hey, good okay. shit, little doggy. Let's get to that church. Good business. What a dope little doggo. You too, you are also a good doggo, GG. You're a good doggo. You may not be like a demon zombie giant killing doggo, but you are a good girl. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this little puppy. Oh, what a good dog. He knows. She knows. GG could kill a demon giant if she wanted. She tried really hard. I didn't notice this shed open. I'm not sure when that happened. Obviously, he ripped the roof off of the... Oh, fuck, I'm going to have to combine it. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck me. Well, I guess I'll eat an egg. Or to top myself off. I'm going to have to mix that with the red herb. Fuck. I have way too many kitchen knives. <laughs> didn't expect this to be a problem. But we sure have like a lot of them. Okay, they did give me a bunch of ammunition for that. See, that was a I like that. That was a more interesting boss than the guy who doesn't do anything uh, in the lake. Now, has your wanton rampage? I find myself needing to ask. Revealed any blue medallions? <laughs> Because I can't help but recall I am one short in this area. And if your arbitrary destruction slash explosive entrance. I thought the fifth one. Dang it. I really thought the fifth one might have been back here with him. I had that thought when we came through here in the first place. So whenever this opened up, it might reveal the medallion. Six months. Its teeth have only just come through, but it shoves everything within reach into its mouth. Can't walk yet, but it swallowed a dog whole. <laughs> Nine months. It already towers over, but it keeps growing. The town hall can no longer contain it. Ten months. It keeps growing even after moving to the quarry. It can devour a whole cow in only three days. Thirteen months. It can swing our largest... Pickaxe her chewing on something. As if it was, as it was a twig. One of the men of the village was almost eaten today, too. It's not getting enough food. Seventeen months. There's only a couple cows left now. I think the whole village is going to starve. We summon help from the castle and other put the beast to sleep with an incantation. Hopefully it will just, you know, be napping. Oh, he was napping and they unnap. Ah! Ah! Unnapped it by casting the reverso spell. I see. Ding. I am fucking two out of ten game. 
absolute garbage. How dare you release this in this state? You gonna tell me I can't ding the ding bell? Why even release the video game in this state? What's wrong with you? Okay, well, we fought our big giant man. Uh, we definitely, like, hella profited in bullets. We, we giga profited bullets in that fight. Where did Doggo? I was looking for Doggo. Was he up on the road? It sounded like he was up top somewhere. I wanted to tell him he was a good dog. He did a good job. Anyway, I'm going back on the other way because it's another thing to unlock. I just wanted to come in here because I was pretty sure they were going to throw a boss at me, and they did. Off we go. You can't ding the ding? Dang. My hopes are the only things that have been dinged today. Two perception. Okie dokie. So the other... This is where I parked, right? I parked in this one? Okay, yeah. The other direction, the interesting thing that's going to come from doing this and going around the way they don't necessarily want us to come is that we are going to end up with our boat in a place where the game doesn't really intend, which means we might also be signing up for a very long walk in the future. We'll see, I guess. that happens, so be it. We're here to the lake. We're going for those torches over there, I'm pretty sure. To the weird pier that didn't... What the fuck is this? Oh, that's the... No, that's the outlet. So it's those torches. This super looks like something. Is this something? No. Your ass is real something looking on the map and not be something. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm gonna go park over here. Let's go back through this way. I'm gonna do a scientific experiment. That's like... How many people can I not fight? Oh, did I get a small key? Did I get a small key? I did get a small key. Might as well unlock this one over here too. Fuck it. Just a gold ingot. Would have been way smarter to use that key on something, you know, further fucking inland. I guess there's not one on this route, actually. There's just a bunch of free shit that I missed. Okay, we're going back. Don't run into the bear traps. I think they might all have popped now, finally. Perhaps. We're rich. Yeah. I assume there's just gonna be a bunch of goobers on this route. Surprisingly goober free so far. Did you, what are you doing? Ah. I see. <laughs> the map is made of lies. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I guess we'll go back. <laughs> ah, they would make me fight the giant. You cannot, in fact, go around the giant arena. Everything here is made of fucked. You will go the way that the devs intended. And you'll fucking... Oh, that one's still there. You'll fucking like it. That one's also still there. It's an old map. It's like what I did with Strange Aeons yesterday. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked out... Ow, Gigi, your claws are so sharp. If you haven't checked out Strange Aeons yet, I gotta cut your damn nails. Actually, so we you have a groomer appointment, appointment tomorrow, Gigi. I ain't gotta do shit. You're gonna, the groomists are gonna cut your nails, and you're probably gonna be very sad. Not because your nails are getting clipped, because weird people are touching you. Anyway... I decided that in Strange Aeons, we got a campaign predicated around a bunch of amnesiacs being stuck 
in an asylum, right? Classic horror setup. If I come in here and the blue medallion's just in the ceiling, I'm going to kill myself. No, okay, we're good. Been in here, right? Yes, more kitchen knives. That's what I need. I was just thinking, you know what I don't have enough of? Fucking kitchen knives. Could use another 35 or so of those. I, uh... Figured it made sense, especially since they got some survivors, which were people who worked in the asylum previously and accessed a lot of the maintenance areas. It's on the map. I've been looking for this shit for 10 years for no fucking reason. It's on the fucking map? Surely that's just denoting, like, the region where you need to find blue medallions, right? It's like, hey, it's the fish farm. Blue medallions are, like, in this area. I don't know, how do you- can you get back there? I think it might just be saying like this is the place this is the place where there's blue medallions oh you, oh, you can get down there there's a chest how the fuck do you get over there hey what how the hell do you get there can you go under this oh my god there's another path holy fuck i didn't know you could get over here Okay, so we... Oh, that was a very fucking high-value blue medallion discovery. Oh, shit. I did not realize there was a gap right there. I can't go back up. You can't pull... Dude, motherfucker, I could get up that. And this isn't one of those, like, armchair fucking nerd that lives in his mom's basement overestimates physical abilities. That's like one foot above your head. We, Me and Bryn... Not super frequently, but, like, somewhat. She really likes those, uh, trampoline parks. And the one we go to's got, like, one of them fucking Ninja Warrior courses, and I guarantee you I can do that shit on account of I've done it. When you're six foot 17, you can climb over a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, I'd be like, I personally could step onto it, but I mean, like, relatively that high. I used to scale an eight foot high fence in my college so I could go smoke. Yep, that's that sounds like college. And today I learned the blue medallions are on the map, so you know, save yourself a lot of fucking effort. Just they're on the they're on the map. They're, they're just they're on the fucking they're on the map. Uh, I'm actually really really glad. I'm way more excited about what this fucking stone hexagon's gonna do than the like five spines I'm gonna get for the medallion. Where's the thingy? Right there. I just figured this was going to come together or it wasn't. And I was... Oh, no. Oh, you mother bitch. Never mind. It literally takes two moves to solve. I don't know what I expected. It's just 15,000 pitas. All right, I mean, fair enough. I'm not going to fucking argue with you. It's just it's a, just a bazillion pitas. Deal. Well, I guess let's fucking upgrade dumpster pistol because this thing is... Yo, do be fun. The red S is probably the, like my, I think, gonna be my go to handgun. The accuracy is gonna make baby Jesus cry, but the damage, I think, more than makes up for it. The damage is just so absurd on this. Thank you, head loading screen. The damage is just so absurd on this pistol that the accuracy could make you miss every other shot almost, and it's fucking nice still worth work. it. What can I interest you in? Right? Pretty fucking close. 
If you want a fighting chance out there, you best shoot up. One in three. Six. If the accuracy on this gun makes you miss one out of your three shots. 33% accuracy nerf. It's still worth it Gotta because it does that much good damage. Things on sale, stranger. Where they go here? So unless you really a deal well struck. <laughs> Dazzled. Unless you like really need the accuracy or the penetration, which again I feel like you probably will in the future. Look, I'm good, homie. I'm good. I think I'm okay for the current moment. All right, that's not a loading screen door. Because this has got 50%, exactly 50% more damage than the Punisher. The Punisher is admittedly cons low damage. That's kind of its downside. Bjork, Bjork to you too, friend, wherever the fuck you might be. What a good boy. So I assume, had you not freed him from that little bear trap, you probably would not, that requires an input. He would not show up to aid you in your hour of need on account of he's still stuck in a fucking bear trap somewhere. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I like it when things come back around like that. Why is the floor dancing? Dude, I don't know. I got a gun, man. I can't fight poltergeists. I don't have any ghost touch ammunition. I can't do shit about a fucking ghost, okay? There are limits to my powers. I think it's pretty much like a corporeal opponent at this point. I think that's well, anything on that side of the border. I think we're all right with. We shot a cave troll to death. Motherfucker! Dude, I hate these things. Mark. Did he just fucking die? Is the dog serious? Chat? There is not a dog back there. What? You guys are fucking with me. Chad's committing fuckery. Hold on. I'm being memed. You guys just wanted to see if I would walk all the way the fuck back here again. I found him! Hi, doggo! Oh, hi, buddy! Oh, I can't, like, pet him or anything. Hey, was I can't even pet the dog! I want to pet the dog! He seems like such a nice lad! He is literally the exact same color as all of the stone. <laughs> it's kind of like a polar bear hiding in a snowstorm kind of situation going on here. Can't believe it takes an input to drop down. I guess that's taller than it looks like from the other side. Fair enough, you get a pass. Two out of ten game. Shooting the bell doesn't ding it. Can't pet the dog. Requesting a steam refund immediately. I love the little animation. He's like, oh man, it's still raining? I was sure in the eight seconds I was walking through that cave, the rain would have fucking stopped. What was that? Oh, I think that's just creaky wood noises. Or something hissing. What is this way? What is this way? Oh, this is where he came out before. I don't really want to go this way on account of there was a dog over here. And if I know anything about Resident Evil 4 by this point, where there is one dog, there are 14 dogs. So 
We're gonna go this way. That's a dog. Hi, Gigi. You're a dog. Ah, I did this one here. Save me here. Thank you. That's how dog works in the wild, yes. Okay, these go to the same place. All right, that was the gate that we unlocked from the backside when we went down the little holy thing. Okay, so weird fucking icon. Literally who built this shit? <laughs> How much of your main antagonist budget went into ridiculously intricate locks for no fucking reason? Look, I know you know that regular keys exist. Because you do lock most of your shit with them. Ashley Graham. Yes, this I'm is the part help. where we start yelling. I'm just assuming the first person is going to answer is, Oh, fuck me, my inventory. And just kind of assume that the first person that's going to answer is going to be the person we're looking for and not, you know, the horrible murderers. Beep. Damn you. Damn you! I gotta shoot. Problem solved. <laughs> Look, I just saved two inventory spaces. <laughs> I got it, I got it. This one's a freebie. I got extras. There you go. Okay. Just use regular keys, dude! Your whole fucking budget must go into this shit! Dude, where do you even find the time? Much less like the architects. Look, I'm not even gonna like... To grace those by looting them. Those get to stay on the ground. Bolt thrower can suck my balls. It just pulled the random lever. What's the worst that could happen? Ah! Of course! <laughs> Looks like I'm tanking. We already got our healer and our DPS. I have the tank wheel. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. I see what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna kaleidoscope this shit out of this bitch. Okay, fair enough. What's over here? Well, that'll probably be where this opens. Fair enough? Do the kaleidoscope button. He's got a 3D printer in the basement. It's all just fucking plastic. <sighs> What am I trying to do? What the fuck am I trying to make? Ah. There? That looks good. Spin this shit all lines up. Like. No? Over here, maybe? Uh, like, uh... What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> ah, maybe. Uh, I did it! <laughs> Hooray! Imagine! Imagine pitching this fucking lock to a team of engineers! And you're again impoverished Spanish village and you're like, hey man, this is very important and I have quite literally infinity money. I need you to make me a stained glass lock, which can only be opened by combining three keys into the pulpit at the front of the church and rotating them needs to move a mechanism, but needs to be turnable by your hand though. So like the leverage can't be too intense on this because it is going to be rotating like a 40 square foot stained glass wheel set way up in the wall over there. But you gotta be able to like crank it. Like I need like a 60 year old woman to be able to crank it pretty easily. 
and then once all three of them are just aligned properly with the symbol in the background it's going to open a metal gate that's like over there just sort of automated no we don't have electricity so we're still using candles and oil lamps so i'm going to have you kind of figure out i guess we'll just have to like use it maybe like wind a spring or something have it build up that potential energy so when it is completed the excess energy can open the door like way the hell over here i don't really know that, that's what i'm paying you for right you, you can figure it out like where's that go oh just like a ladder that's just how we get to the second floor <laughs> like, no it's not like Ashley, a vault or anything it's you in there it's still gonna have like a big ass balcony but like that's yeah, we're gonna do that every time we need to get up to the second floor of the church. <laughs> I mean, part of our morning routine is just opening this shit up. <laughs> like... You know this guy owns the fucking construction company. You you know for an absolute fact that the the guy paying this, it's either his or like his oh, somebody's dropped their fucking Nokia razor. And they're in college. <laughs> Uh, it's this dude's, uh, we're gonna get the girl. Oh God, is this gonna turn into an escort quest? I saw that one challenge in the list and I tried really hard not to mentally process it, but the words on it scared me. Ashley. This is Ashley gonna Green, turn into a here? fucking entire <laughs> escort. Let me go. Listen. Bitch, I paired his chainsaw with a butter knife. Calm down. My name's Leon. I'm here in the president's quarters. And... That one will. Hey, it's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? That's... Over there? Those are guys. Pursue them. That's a grenade, is what it is, just later. Deliver unto them. Salvation. I don't think we were supposed to be CC'd in this email. You guys probably want to check your mailing list. This is fine. Don't worry, guys. I have one grenade. <laughs> this will be okay. Uh, okay. Shoot dynamite in the hand of a ganado. Is that what we're calling him? Okay, fair enough. Yay. I CC'd the wrong Leon. There's a lot of Leons in this village, actually. It'd be kind of... It's a very common name, actually. It's not really all that surprising. Don't worry, I have one grenade. What do we do? I kill them. Your father trusts me. And I need you to trust me, too. And do exactly as I say. I'm gonna get you home safe. It okay. might take a couple tries, but okay, you might get a little bit friendly fired. This is shit's about to turn into everything I hated about Resident Evil 5. I can smell it. It's a good thing they don't immediately notice that the stained glass lock is open. Which could be the only... Cons Let's get the hell out of here. Wow, what a fucking ch- I ain't even mad, dude. That's a king, holy shit. Not only did he look up and see us, he also fucking nailed that. Dude's a god. Okay, well, there's a magical wall here, so. Yeah, dude went to baseball school. That guy was on the, uh, played fucking baseball in college. Ah, uh, yep. I'm not upskirting you, I promise. I'm just waiting for the ladder. Oh, okay. Or just run ahead, I guess. Well, 
first of all, I'm going to kick this barrel. Because it's got bullets in it. Second of all, excuse me, Mr. Rat, I'm going to kick these barrels. Because there's three dollars. I'm very poor. Uh, am I like, how the fuck am I not? Oh, there are multiple. Attachable mines. Are these just okay? These are only for the bolt thrower. Okay, so the so with the attachable mines and the bolt thrower kind of becoming a grenade launcher. Oh, those are made with smalls. Damn, it may be worth bringing. I don't really know what i would drop for it other than the 50 random kitchen knives i use it as a ghetto ass grenade launcher that could work don't mind me i'm just jumping out of a no fucking way. third story window it's okay i've got you yeah okay so when you catch somebody that does not reduce the amount of velocity they're coming down with it's a, oh dog GG, you're knocking everything over. Hey, trust me. Could you please? You just yeet yourself out a third story window. Now it's gonna be turned ammo into bolt ammo. I guess I could carry the bolt caster. I gotta get rid of one of these guns though. Maybe the rifle. Let's upgrade the shit out of the shotgun. I really don't want to get rid of the shotgun. The rifle's really hard to use. Ow, ow! Your claws are so sharp! GG, just chill. You're very pointy. Sneaky beaky like. It is a good time to make Bruce, a call. I've secured baby eagle. Copy that. Is she okay? <laughs> like, wait, where the fuck did she go? She's going down the ladder, obviously. She's not insane. Okay. The rifle does work. The rifle does a lot of fucking damage. Hurry. The weather is getting worse. Bruce out. Yes, the weather. That is my concern. Ah. All we have to do is go all the way up there, and then the game will be over. You can tell by all these treasures that are in areas we haven't gotten to yet. But that's not going to matter, because we'll have won. Fuck. They fucking cut seeing me out of treasure again. Stay close. Okay. Sneaky. Very heavy coffin. It does look like it's quite large. Eeky beaky like. Oh shit. Push between tight and loose formation with right stick. Ashley sticks close behind. Okay, so it's, uh, oh God, this is actually going to turn into a huge fucking escort quest. At least it looks like she's okay at running at stuff. Loose. Just keeps her out of the way of shit. Okay, so loose is just like don't get hit and. Tight as we're fucking going. Okay, I see. Uh, I can switch my camera to the other fucking shoulder. Sneaky, beaky shit. Hey, you've waited. You want to see a dead body? <laughs> you ever seen a murder before? <laughs> Coming. Get behind me. Oh God. Yeah, here we go. Put her down. Hey ya! Fuck, that's bad. Back up. Uh, she just. Oh. Okay. She's just yoink. Fuck your legs. Yeah, no, I'm aware. I'm you we you met me five seconds ago. Please calm down. Look, I know we're getting like super murdered here. Fuck all your knees. Oh god. Ashley move! Down the mountain. Oh 
Oh, he got friendly fired. Okay, these friendly fired. That makes him less awful. So that's good. Oh my god. Fuck, this is the worst escort quest. This is the worst escort quest in the fucking world. Ah, he's tag team, idiot. Hit. Oh, there's that knife. Good news, I have 10 more. I'm stuck. I'm very stuck. Good thing I have all these delicious eggs. <laughs> Hang out over here for a sec. Okay, who the fuck's got the goddamn Molotovs? Oh my god, you're shitting me. The gun food tank. Okay. Loady, 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 loady. Quit throwing the fucking Molotovs! Fight it. I fucking dare you. I'm sick of your shit! <laughs> okay. Good job, Darugi. Did he catch fire, die, and become a tentacle head? Yep. <laughs> That's what happened. I, so I do see the little eyeballs of the tentacle head motherfuckers. The jury is out on whether or not that is any level of a weak point beyond just shooting them normally. I'm, I'm honestly not confident. I try to aim for them. They were extremely fucking tiny. But sometimes the rifle just one taps them and most of the time I feel like it's when I definitely hit them in their weird little eyeball So I think it is I think that little eyeball is a weak point I think you get extra juice All right. okay. I think you do get extra juice for nailing that Which is relatively st tough to do I saved all my grenades which is kind of, you may ask, fucking why didn't you throw any? And the reason is because, I don't know. I never felt like they were really close enough together. There were a lot of them, but they were all over the fucking place. And the grenades don't feel like they have a huge blast radius. I feel like grenades are just, there's a billion guys in front of me kind of situation. Hey there, buddy. I broke my knife. <laughs> Can you help me with my broke ass knife? What you see is what I've got. Make have one of these. No, thank you. Bad. And uh, tune up Fixo Nifo. That's Look good. My work, stabber if back. I do say so myself. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Nice. Let's start getting some rifle while. business going too, so I can make Let's that hit a little bit harder. And then I'd Welcome. like to sell you. Ah. Rubbish. It makes no difference. The price. Did you know that a fully That's charged awesome. kitchen knife and a mostly broken kitchen knife are worth the same amount of money? So what I could theoretically do... Man, I just don't... I don't ever see myself using the fucking TMP. I just don't see that happening. I really don't. I can't store Will those, right? Come back anytime. It's not impossible. I can use the bolt caster. I can't store those. If I pull out the bolt thrower, we're tossing something in the trash. And I'm thinking it's the rifle. What's the bolt thrower's damage look like? Are you a... You're not cons low damage, are you? You're kind of fucky, actually. Whoops. You're 250 unupgraded, and you're... Ugh. 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 Oh god, you so it's so bad. Okay, so you only exist to throw mines. That's what is my purpose? You throw mines. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm selling the mines. Welcome. Can I interest you in... God, their oh, value wow. tells me that they're probably going to be pretty valuable, but you know what? I just don't fucking care. Like, they're craftable. I can make more. It is one of the least Anything limited else, resources uh, you know, that we please. possess. Don't get yourself killed now. Okay. Save this shit. Shit's getting very angry with incredible. Oh, new new feature. Need someone to get rid of a wild dog. This one around the village. Easy to spot. It's not like normal dogs. Ah, kill the super dog for eight spinals. Go fight a fucking dog boss. Okay. Do I have to? Hey, can we take a break? No. Sorry, we need to keep moving. They probably are like the frag grenades. Yeah, I imagine it's like a shootable frag grenade. Which is... And their proximity too. So like, I'm sure they're really good. Lundigan was right about the weather. There's fucking moist out here. Hey, don't complain yet. We're about to go the horrible way into town, so... Ah, oh, fuck me. Maybe don't turn the flashlight on while I'm sneaking up behind somebody. This is the time you decide it's flashlight o'clock, Leon. Don't pay me, don't pay me, don't pay me, don't pay me, don't pay me. Look, please don't let there be anybody on the left. Fuck, I'm using a kitchen knife. Where's my... Get your fucking knife out, you idiot. There. Okay, so they know about the well. But they only sent one guy to guard it, and he's an idiot, so... that guy just wants to see us. Maybe he wants to see your bright fucking orange jacket and your goddamn high heel boots. <laughs> you are not ready for this shit. He ain't moving, so I am. Okay. I went around the corner. Eeky beaky like. Where'd that dude go? I want to vault this, but I don't know where the guy Ashley's also not in the building, so. Hey, you are. Yeah, Ashley, you fucking moron. Roundhouse kicking Molotov throwers into their own fucking fire is one of my favorite things in this entire game. That is straight up never going to get old. It does not matter how much Resident Evil 4 I play. Shooting a Molotov out of somebody's hand and then roundhouse kicking them into the fire is never, ever going to get old. It's so fucking funny every time. Boop. She had $4. Okay, so we've established that Ashley's a fucking idiot and will not go through a door or a window, so... I have to use straightforward means. I'm gonna go fight a dog boss in what'll be remembered as just a really fucking bad decision. The storm has the gun sounds. One thing I've definitely noticed in this game is gun sounds do not travel very far. They really don't. Gun sounds have a very fucking surprisingly short range for alerting people. They gotta be pretty close to you. Yeah, no fucking shit. That's the thing we're trying to do, okay? I'm, I'm fucking working on it, woman. I just gotta go fight Cerberus. So. I'm gonna go make what's gonna be remembered as a really bad decision. I'm gonna go get absolutely dumpster fucked by a very angry dog. How bad could it possibly be? Doesn't bode well. Turn it back on. Now, this doesn't bode well. He knows how to use light switches. That already puts him a cut above probably most of the regular enemies. 
Hello, extremely angry dog. Kind of thought you would just start attacking me immediately. I'll admit I'm a little bit surprised I have to come find you. Just figured you'd be like really pissed off. Just doing. What the fuck is this treasure? Like right over here? Oh shit, it's in this drawer. I didn't realize it was openable. I'll go! Hello? You're in a fucking bedroom? Leave this dude's dog? <laughs> Am I just gonna come in here and kill this guy's dog? No? Kind of half expected to have a fucking dog bed out here and just be vibing. Collapsed ladder. What the fuck? What? But I can't boost you up there. Wait, but how do I get you up there? I don't know where his fucking dog is. I didn't think finding it was going to be the hard part. I just thought... Not fighting it was gonna be the challenge. Okay, I don't know where the fuck this dog is. Hello? In the bathroom? Is he house trained? He's not use the toilet? Pretty impressive, honestly. Oh. Tago! Did I leave any bear traps out here? Are they gonna they'd be useful if I did? No, I think they all pop. Hello? What the fuck is this dog? Are we are you sure? Are you sure there's a dog here? Are you thinking about some other village chief's mansion? Where the fuck is his hand grenade? Down below? I want the hand grenade. I'm interested in the hand grenade. Is there a basement? I mean, there's an attic, right? We know there's an attic. Ah, I didn't see that. There's a collapsible ladder that leads up top. But, uh, I don't know how to open it. There was a, is there a window we can get on the top level because there's that outer landing? How do I get in that outer landing? Can I just vault this? No? I feel like it's... Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, it's not, in fact, it has so far opened zero secret doors in this game. Just shooting the thing that looks weird. Maybe there is a basement. There's a basement. I don't know about it. We haven't been there. That's news. That's news to me if it has one. Hello? Uh. Just like, oh. oh, is it you? That's where we came from. We came from that way. Fuck me. <laughs> That's a huge problem. <laughs> now he's with everybody. Oh, no. Oh, God. All right. He's with absolutely everyone else now. Oh, fuck me. There's like a hundred fucking guys over there. He's in the town with a billion fucking Gestapos or whatever they're called. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> That's way worse. Look, I'm, this town is not clear, okay? I have not killed these people. I have, like, five rifle bullets. Could I have more than five rifle bullets, perhaps? I would love. Now I have, like, eight rifle bullets. You know, that's up from the previous so we'll call that a positive do i want to start doming people with a rifle <laughs> what a fucking surprise literally everyone's a tentacle headed asshole now i need to get the damage buff i gotta upgrade the damage on this rifle if i'm gonna use it for my tentacle head executions all right let's try and he's like who the fuck it was me <laughs> I figured it out. No problem. Fuck, I did not get my guard up in time. Gangsta style on this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. 
put the torch the fuck down. Out of the way. Come on. Okay. Come back, please. All right, I'm right there. Hands with fucking. Nope. Oh. Hi there. Spread out. Okay. Fuck. Sir, I am fucking busy. Well, that's gonna also turn to a tentacle head. That's a problem. So we're having a solution. It's called a grenade. Fuck you. Give me a warning next time. No! Fuck you! Pay attention! <laughs> Move! Ashley, of all the places to stand, why would you pick there? What made you think that was a good location? You like dogs? This is gonna be bright. Don't look at that. <laughs> I'm really fucking sorry. Go to sleep. Target neutralized. Actually, <laughs> that's the worst fucking time. Oh god. Ashley, you're gonna have a real fucking bad evening. <laughs> Do it for me. It's not gonna get better, okay? So just just keep fucking Fragrenade blows up like four feet away from her. And I throw a flashbang over like, hey don't look at that! She's like, what? Oh god, my eyes! <laughs> so I said don't look at it! <laughs> And then she's standing next to a dog because she's completely blind and fucking deaf from the regular grenade and then also the flashbang grenade. And then <laughs> bullets whizzing over her shoulder. That was an extremely okay. tanky dog. That dog, yeah, that dog ate two frag grenades, two clips of fully upgraded red nine, a knife execution. I don't know if I hit him with any rifle bullets, but. You know, we gave that dude some bullets and he was surprisingly okay with I guess not surprisingly we knew he was gonna be a tanky son of a bitch But like that was that was much more of a tanky son of a bitch than I expected. That was a tanky son of a bitch That was a very beefy dog All right, so if they warn you if you get like a quest the Minion that thing is gonna eat a lot of fucking food. That was pretty much all of my explosives. Okay. I have no concept of how much a melee... I guess I don't really know how much anything does, but I don't know how much a melee execution does. I know Flashbang lets me melee, like, everybody that was in Flashbanging range. Found a spinal on the ground? You can do that? Which is probably pretty valuable, because the kick seems like okay. it's doobie it's fucking right. people. Oh, fuck. No problem. I want to see me do some sick fucking karate, Ashley. <laughs> With me. <laughs> you want to see some sick fucking karate? Where gem? Oh, on the outside. Oh, I need to dive out this window. Follow me. <laughs> Ashley's like, oh, great, my rescuer is completely insane. <laughs> you, I... Okay, first of all... He very clearly just stepped in the trap you laid down. Second of all, fuck that guy. I knew it. Third of all... Damn it. He can't reach me up here, right? All right, cover your ears, Ashley. This one's gonna be kind of loud, okay? Hi. <laughs> God, no, 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 no. You're not turned to whatever the fuck you turn into. We found the guy responsible for all the fucking bear traps, so you know, continuity. This dickhead, who definitely just stepped immediately in the trap he put down. He one thousand percent just stepped in the fucking trap.
Where did it even go? Was the trap tied to his life force? Did I kill him and thus the trap ceased to exist? It sure is shit not here anymore. It's, it's him. Huan Bear Trap. The lord of being a fucking menace to society. Okay. I gotta take a break real quick. The man was a Yu-Gi-Oh player. He went down and his trap left with him. You know what's crazy? I don't know if it's just me. There's a dryer sheet thing on my finger. It looks... It even, like, not only has it actually really stopped itching from the dryer sheet, I feel like it has stopped swelling a little bit, but it's going to look a lot less compared to what it was yesterday, regardless, because I was staring at it all yesterday when it was this fucking big around. It, I had a fat fucking sausage for a finger yesterday. It's less red. Like, it's definitely less red. I don't know if it's less swollen, but it's less red. Anyway... Yeah, I'm a believer in Team Dryer Sheet team, so if you ever get bit by a fucking spider or whatever, you rub a dryer sheet on it. Fuck, I'm sold. That shit fucking absolutely worked. Anyway, this is not financial advice. I'm going to take another break. Got to do them hourly or Twitch is just going to blast a bunch of ads on the throats of everyone who's watching the stream. And if they have to run anyway, I would much prefer they ran while there was not any content happening. So I'm doing my best to make sure I take these hourly breaks just to make sure nobody has to miss any of the content for uh, the drain circling level of ad spam that twitch.tv is putting out now. Don't go too far. Be right back though. Couple minutes. Copy time. Nobody is born cool, except of course. No memes this time, just huge, sincere thanks to Adamant Drake, Alexrin, Asane221, Adamok, Brony Fight Club, Canzoni, Cloud75, JC, Destro, Nets, Falcon Punch, 7272, GR, Jake, Jasteron, Dresner, Mokavian Madness, 21, Mark Hall, Marshall, Maverick X29, Mercer Holt, Mesa Death 101, ML Wolf, Max Tube, Oak Cheese 2010, Peter Carl, Future Shoot Will, Sean Regards, Dingus Patrol, The Noble Search Hero, Taraka, Uncana, Waffle Copter, and Z Pulse 2013. Hey there. How would you like a robot to welcome you into the chat every stream? Because coffee subs get that for being very special and cool. Seriously though. time. I have owed you a rodent for several days. And now it is bratwurst. Look at him. They have to hold him with two hands because he is just so very large. <laughs> He's such a big boy, bratwurst. You're such a big boy. But he is so gentle, he is so tame, he loves pets, he's just very, very large. And he's not even, like, he's a little overweight. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, he's a little bit overweight. But he's, like, got a back leg. He's not as hilariously obese as some of our rats were. He's just fucking huge. You're like a huge super- She's probably one of my favorite characters in the whole game at this point. I really love her. Not that it takes much. I mean, she's eight foot tall, jacked into the short haircut. <laughs> so, like, it's pretty much everything I'm looking for in a woman. <laughs> my bar is quite low, I'll have you know. <laughs> no, I look quite high. About 6'5". <laughs> 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 oh, my God. fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, like, that's pretty good. I think we can make her okay. Go to the I'm gonna put a helmet.
helmet on like 40 minutes into the game and we're never going to see your face again. <laughs> Don't come in here with your negativity, man. This is important. Lord Sanmarov! I just nuke this guy. Who are you? And why should I care? <laughs> I am heir to the sacred tradition of the Star of Fire. The blue wizards betrayed you, but we have worked in secret for a oh, hundred years to bring them down! Worked in secret for a hundred years? Self-important tradition of the magic stick? You're not <laughs> Oh! <laughs> He stop! He's fucking dead! He's dumb! He's dead! He's you know what like... I fucking want? I want another goddamn gun range. Welcome back, everybody. I feel like... This game wants me to fight way less shit than I'm fighting. I think I'm very much intended to run past a lot more things than I do. But I want to fight everybody. I got so many hands to throw and only so many directions in which to throw them. That was a lot of... And they, and they give me so many bullets. That's probably it, this. Hey, you heard me kick the fucking barrel. He's done day is stying me in the distance, son of a bitch. What are you looking at? He heard my dumb ass. He heard me kick a fucking barrel. I'll watch this shit. See that guy over there? See? Hey, hey, Ashley, you see that dickhead? Ah, no, you don't. <laughs> she, he, she did too. She was looking. Look, she, wow, damn. You heard that. A little, a little turned on that motherfucker. I'm not a Rathalos. Oh, shit. Twisty son of a bitch. Okay, so the thing about the accuracy. <laughs> Think about we can miss one in three bullets and it's still worth it. Oh shit, it's a Tamashanter wizard. The pure amount of fucking Scottish alcohol flowing through that man's system makes him nearly impervious to damage. <laughs> sneaky peeky! Sneaky peeky! Oh, the pig is sleeping! Okay, shh, it's okay. Go to sleep, little pig. Oh fuck. He definitely, hey guys, I think he sees us. Get behind me, Ashley. I'm gonna fight this farmer. I don't think he's. His heart's not in it. Oh, fuck. I thought he was turned to a ray. Oh, they can turn into those, too? I thought he was turned to a broke neck guy. He did not turn to a broke neck guy. Hey. I fucking. Oh, wait, no, you don't have a hammer. So that's just a. That's just a dude. Hey, I'm here to tell you. Ammo's right becoming a problem. No problem. Let me get this here shotgun. And feed is this fucking cowman. Dude, it's a Chad! Oh my god! Took down the fucking chin! This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna toss this over there. Uh, Ashley, <laughs> oh, it fucking killed him. Out of the way, Ashley. You gotta stop standing on the flashbangs. Uh, okay. <laughs> you gotta stop standing on the flashbangs. <laughs> I didn't know it did damage. Oh, that makes that. If that does damage, that makes that shit way more valuable. Those do Demoglio! Flashbangs fucking kill people! They were already really good because they gave me the melee crit, but they also just do damage, apparently. 
Okay, so I'm here to tell you that while I know I promised I would escort you to safety, I do not have any gun food. So that's going to start becoming more difficult. Also, hold on, there is looting to be done. Ah, uh, yes, an antique pipe. That's seven grand in the right market. Oh, and that's seven dollars over there. Hold the fuck on, baby. I'm getting paid today. I need some cash. Excuse me, Mr. Pig. I need some cash. Uh. Flashbangs don't kill people. People with flashbangs kill people. Oh, it's three dollars. I've been scammed. Excuse me, Mr. Pigums. Let's say Pighead Man is significantly less threatening when he doesn't have the huge fucking mallet and it's just sort of a guy. <laughs> I do feel like I'm a lot less threatened when he's just a weird kind of tubby dude who's admittedly terrifyingly tanky, but just sort of walking at me. Hey, so about that flashbang I just made, that sounds like a lot of customers. Ah, it's a cutscene amount of customers. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to just be running past the vast majority of this stuff. You. Hey, listen, about earlier. Yeah, about I... that. Hey, I see you found your missing senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Everyone's got names. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. Uh, I'm really glad we barred that. In that case, here, help me. Ashley, quick. Over here. I uh, changed my mind, Ashley. Unhide. Oh, just kidding. You're going in this weird hole. Good luck in the weird hole. Ah, oh, yeah, I see you were a fellow Luger enthusiast. I like. He's made up of monsters. Yeah, I see. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now you shut up. A grenade. Resources. <laughs> ah. You stay out there. Back out the window. Out of the way. Okay. Oh, fuck. Just stay out there. Ain't hey, no fucking. I hear a tentacle demon. Nice throw, idiot. Hold on, make sure I have flashbang at this. Ah, fuck. You're a dick. Knife him in his barely existent neck. Oh, he's still alive. He's alive. It's good call. Didn't dump. I saw handgun ammo. On the table. Give me this. Thank you. Thank you. Another grenade. Thank you. You know what to do. <laughs> Sorry, I was grabbing ammo. Sorry, must have slipped. Let me reload my pistol arrow real quick here. Dude, the Tamish Chanter dudes have infinity fucking health. Oh my god, there's so many motherfuckers out there. Jeez. Yep, that guy's transmogrifying. Yep, I see that. Out of the way. Oh, thank you. Okay, time for one of these, probably. Hold that. Did you just knife me through? Oh, someone threw something at me, you dickhead. Fuck, I didn't mean to throw that. No. Yeah, okay, one window. I have a lot of spare kitchen knives. There's like a decent place to use them. Don't oh, fucking point at me, it's rude. Ooh. 
Yeah, there's a lot of dudes suddenly coming in from other directions. How the fuck? Where the fuck did this guy come from? That's probably a red and green herb kind of situation, I think. Ah, shit. I need you to move. Okay, shotgun's a pretty bad answer. Those guys, gotta get, you gotta get too close. There's a lot of motherfuckers. about to cause a problem vis to be the amount of bullets that I possess. Shit. Ooh, jeez. Okay. Welcome to Point Blank Rifle School. Story shoot our fucking rifles in Point Blank Range. I'm gonna knife fight this motherfucker. Okay, look. Look. Oh my god. What? What now? Okay. Planks. What? I am blocked then? Okay, whatever. I was gonna try and fucking fire that window. Excuse me, sir. Rude as hell. Hi, I'm here. Hey, I pushed their ladder down. Fuck you guys. Fuck your stupid ladder. What's out here? What's out here? What's out here? Fucking another ladder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck this ladder. I'm working on it, dude! We're kinda under siege! I don't know if you've noticed! Okay, we're a kitchen knife. It's kitchen knife o'clock. Oh, this is a big slashy. I don't know what the fuck you think I'm gonna kill this guy with. Yeah, I got what? Two eggs and a fucking kitchen knife, dude. Oh, the fire. Okay. Remain over there. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, I found him. Don't worry, guys. I found him. Ah, that's still flip me. Probably fucked. I don't th I meant to combine those, obviously. Okay, let's let us we have a little bit of a second down here. Or this. I have one flashbang. Oh, that's big fuck boy. Here you go. Toby! I drop some handgun ammo. That's good, that's the thing that I need. I hit B. Oh, it's got like a long ass animation to get into crouching, I see. Okay. There's one less large lead. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. If only there was a billion fucking weapons on the ground that I could grab from all of these assholes to use to, you know, fight people with. If only I could take any of their weapons. I love the enemies. Just by the free action, just pointing at you. He's like, yeah, it's a guy. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking fuck you. <laughs> Get out of my face. No point. Ashley. What's, what's happening to me? How did you get lightly stabbed? Ashley, is this the first time you've coughed up blood like this? You want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a uh, plaga. 
The Plaga, not the Plaga. Okay. You saw those people, right? Yeah, dudes we just shot like a hundred of. Do you have the same thing inside you? The same thing that I legitimately, if that's a timed survival, I legitimately it's think it might be easier to just jump things. out the window and run around outside where there's more room than <laughs> trying to oh, actually hold the house. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you too? <laughs> Not anymore. No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. Can you have you tried being the not the most suspicious man on planet Earth? It would be easier to trust you if you tried to Great. even put like partners. the slightest amount of effort into being hey, a little bit less sus. Or don't, I guess. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. I will contact you later. Did you leave me the other walk? I need the other walkie talkie. That's not we're going the same direction. Don't do that thing where you make it weird and you try to walk away, but we're both going the same way. Defeat hit 50 enemies with a handgun. I'm honestly kind of surprised we just barely hit that. I feel like I have handgunned the vast majority of people. We killed 60 just at that level. I wonder how many we killed via exploding. Okay. Survives expedition dumps, refuses to elaborate, leaves. That's why I had a couple of those in there. I could have crafted a few more handgun bullets, but or shotgun bullets to fight the guy if I had to. That cow guy was much less tanky than the other cow guys. He had way less health, which is definitely important. I'll bet his plan shorter than how long he took to say there's no time to explain. You find that's frequently true, right? I think most of the time, in the time they spent telling you they can't tell you, they could have told you. Hey, got a smoke? I do, the kind you like. Now where's the amber? Fortunately, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me what a good job I did. Busted my ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Which? Is why I'm still alive. The deal was, we get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. <laughs> Did he not just say he has it? Such a stickler for details, huh, Ida? Did he not literally just say he has it? I'll go get it now, how about that? <sighs> or that he, I guess, protected it not by keeping it, but by sticking it somewhere. Have you considered not high heeled thigh highs? It's probably too. easier to get around the poverty stricken Spanish countryside. With literally any other footwear, but I mean, you do you. This is Roost. I've got some bad news, Condor One. With the is it about like the amount of bullets that I own? Can't make its approach. Can you stand by until it clears? Negative. Too dangerous. Oh, we're going to get out of here. Find some safe. Hold on. Sorry. Son of a bitch. I wish I could do more to help. Okay. Don't worry about it. We'll swim home if we have to. Condor one out. Is this a coastal village? I know we have a lake, but that's not really like a. Oh no! Wait, there's somebody. I didn't loot everybody. What's gonna happen? I to left this left a small amount of Wait. money on the floor. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Okay, so I have Great. that many bullets. Let's go. That's where. Suddenly, much we got rid of one of our kitchen knives, though. I was about to start just fucking knife fighting everyone. I was trying to just sit there and parry spam to preserve bullets. I mean, you guys clearly saw the part where I just started, like, literally knife fighting all these dickheads just to conserve. I was out chasing that thought secret agent. He could have instead had a wholesome relationship with Claire Redfield. <laughs> resources were, in fact, used. I would say that at the moment, we have less resources than we did beforehand. Two round recesses. Three round recesses. I'm gonna wait. The highest value three is a triple, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wait until I get a third diamond or ruby because then I can do three and two instead of guessing one. We'll do three and two and then I'll sell them both. And make a shit zillion dollars. Yeah. 
fucking hate objects. A uh, red herb. I can combine that with my green herb if I don't, for the bazillionth time, accidentally put it directly in my fucking mouth. Which is what I keep doing. Oh, hey, fuck boy. I'm doing my best, homie. I'm, I'm keeping up on the board. You ever seen those nasty guys with the tentacles sprouting out of their heads? Not only are they dangerous, they're a pain to kill, too. They do have a weakness. They absolutely hate bright lights. Oh, uh, no, the flashbang doesn't do damage. That's like a... That's a specific counter to exactly that enemy. Okay. Okay, so flash grenades are like an AoE dickhead removal. It is good. Dickhead removal is important. I'll, I'll keep that one in the fucking noggin. <laughs> nice and I work. killed Super Dog, which also Boy, costs something new for you, just man. like a bunch of bullets. Red 9 stock improves precision and shot grouping. Money can't buy. 10 gunpowder. Give me a stock for my pistol arrow. Anytime. Resident Evil 5 makes me really fucking hard to explain today's climate. Hey, why is Chris murdering full villages of Africans? <laughs> Do I really? I, I don't know. Maybe because they were fucking virus, invest, virus infested super zombies. But I mean, I guess that's just AIDS. But with the zombies. That is a huge stock. Oh. Oh. It doesn't honestly feel like it's made a huge difference. Or, am I stupid? This that's the stock is as big as the fucking gun. I I truly do not believe that's doing anything. Is this like a placebo? Maybe it just affects- She is! I will give her- She is really good. Like, look what I'm fucking aiming. This bitch is actually taped to my butthole. Look at- look at- look at her fucking moving. I can't even juke her. She's- she is real good at that. Once she gets into position, Ashley- yeah, Ashley can fucking dance. Ashley can absolutely fucking dance. Look at this. Look at this! All right, you, you know what? Credit, you're pretty decent at not being in where I'm trying well, to shoot, and I appreciate that. Uh, I should probably look at the well, store before I start doing anything else. Riot gun. What you see is what I've got. Is this just a straight upgrade? It's fucking huge. Oh my god. It's gigantic. I guess this is too. It's uh, actually the same size. Oh, I can't examine from here. This seems like it might be a straight upgrade. Precision 350, power 640. I'm to keep pausing. Power 780. Yeah, the precision is much, but it's much better grouping. Rate of fire looks like it's basically the same. It has a much higher ammo capacity, even than this with an upgrade. I typically the video game department goes for pump action shotgun and do more damage than like millet. Oh, there's a compare button. Wait, is, am I stupid? Welcome. Where? Oh, over there, way on the side, I see. That cash in your pocket, or your life. There's my... Easy choice, mate. Yeah, so, uh... I'm gonna take the riot gun. <laughs> that does seem... The video games really like to make the pump-action shotgun do, like, four times as much damage as the shotgun, or the, the like... Logically, I guess it's also still a pump action shotgun. Oh, it's not semi automatic, it's literally semi automatic. Then the uh, like ones that you aren't loading a single fucking shell at a time, 
for balance reasons when this is just like the point is it's you know better okay okay so hey can i interest can i interest you my good sir in a fucking shotgun ruby's all rubbish thank you i'm ready to literally immediately sell this shit <laughs> thank you and i will take one of these ah that there's a real boomstick mate. it's like one design of century souls and the other is night or there's not exactly will that be all then no oh my god it goes oh molding oh my god this is gonna fuck so hard <laughs> try that on for size yes Dazzled, are you? <laughs> oh, you oh, do Christ still Jesus. single cell load this. I guess that makes sense. It's just semi automatic instead of pump action. And does a bazillion fucking damage and has Your a tighter spread. Are in good hands, mate. I'll see you right. But I. I'm just so. For red fire seems like the most worthless stuff in these games. Yeah, I can waste my liver and ammo fat. Yeah, I have bought zero red of fire upgrades. They do seem absolutely horrible. Easy. I'm so fucking resistant to upgrading the rifle because the rifle is. It is on deck to get swapped out if I find another gun that I like better. And. Knife needs I, care, everyone. So every time I find a fucking typewriter. Difference between life and death. I'm debating yeeting it to bring the bolt thrower just to shoot fucking attachment mines. I know I get most of it back. It's 0.7 damage, like... It's like a 33% upgrade. That's pretty good. But I can also double shell reload the shotgun, which is huge. Like, this is so valuable. You, I think I'm pretty happy with you. I don't really feel the need to do anything to you anymore. There's also just knife damage. Now you get upgrade cost back. You get a mostly oh, back. Money, I don't know how much mostly is. But it says you get a mostly back. It encourages you. Like, I'm not going to sit on the money. The option is not buy rifle power or just float 16k. The option is buy rifle power, buy reload my fucking shotgun literally twice as fast, or mix stabby. Those are those are three really good options. Cause I use this to junk the tentacle heads a lot. It's really good at that, because they're pretty slow and they're pretty sturdy. I go stab because I'm a cheapskate. I'd go stab because I think just knife fighting somebody is the most fun I have in this game. I just really enjoy knife fighting people. It's a lot of fucking fun. There you are, as you wish. Where would it it's also, I think, pretty clearly the smallest upgrade. Um, I think I'm gonna sell the Punisher. Oh, I like the Red Nine. The Punisher can go. Easy. Thank you. I still have some new items you might be interested in. We're starting to get an idea of your taste. Knife. And then I'm also going to take there extra you loader. As you wish. I'll take extra loader on the rifle, too. Yeah, if so I'm going to, I'll take oh, that. That's probably better, honestly. Oh, no, shit. Fun's the biggest upgrade of all. Fun's a real good upgrade. Knife fighting is, is like 60% of why I'm fucking playing this game. Yeah, yeah. Ashley's like, fuck, yeah. yeah. I got to practice my stabbing. Watch out, Ashley. I got to practice my stabbing. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Of course, I got an absolute psychopath trying to save me. Oh, God, he's doing it again. Oh, please put the knife away, Leon. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, please, please, Leon. I'm literally begging you. Please stop. Hey, where's all this ammo? What? Oh, it's, God, it's fucking invisible on little tables. I mean, I know this box I hasn't gotten there yet. That is fucking invisible. Okay, I appreciate you being on the map. Thank you. Did I just load that by pulling it out? The original, you could accidentally shoot her. Oh, you very can't. 
You can't absolutely cannot. You cannot fire if she's in your crosshairs. You are completely hard blocked. I don't want that shit. This is a direct order from Lord Sadler himself. Convert the area beyond this point to a defensive position. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> so that no intruders may pass. I'm willing to make any and all sacrifices for the sake of the righteous faith. My devout believers, build me an impregnable fortress and make sure any heathen foolish enough to trespass pays for their wicked sins and blood. Great. Awesome. Actual defensible position. Yay. Okay. Uh, no one's gonna spawn. No, I actually no. Okay, I was gonna say no one's gonna spawn until I open the door. But all right, that's one less asshole. I really. That's exactly what I wanted there to not be. Is people with fucking Molotov cocktails and dynamite up on top, throwing shit down at me while I'm trying to walk through here. So. I appreciate that they let me shoot them without even going in the room. They don't all just magically load in when the level starts. Holy. Oh, yeah. You like that, Ashley? You like that shit? Is that what you're into? Get long range rifles? I like a man who can shoot. You think Ashley's horrified or kind of into it? What, what does it sound like? Quietly, I've already blown up two people's fucking skulls. The stealth is a little bit... I don't... speak Mexican. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what the fuck you just said to me. I could ask my girlfriend. Right a key, buddy. Knifey. First step of knifey spoonie. Okay. Lava <laughs> Taylor's models. Oh, fuck me, dude. Ancient memory, core memory unlocked. I'm glad to see that stuck in everybody's fucking head and not just mine. Perfect. Hold on. I'm. Is it, is it hold on, Ashley? I know very spooky shit is happening right now, but I'm gonna make some absolute fucking swag, okay? That's pretty sick. I put some very pretty rocks in these. Oh, yeah, look at that shit. The merchant's right behind us. I could go just make a billion dollars, and I'm going to. BRB. <laughs> These guys will be fine. We'll be right back. We're not in a hurry. <laughs> Sorry, I just found a very fancy gemstone. Makes perfect sense. The average Spaniard wouldn't hear a noise you could hear three miles away with how loud they are on average. 75% of them are half deaf, which means 62.5% of the population can actually... <laughs> well, I, don't think, I don't think those proportions combine like that. Money. Anyway, about the shotgun. Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? There you are, as you wish. All right, fine. Two bullets for six K is a pretty good deal. An idea of your tastes, friend. Anytime, all right, fine. Anytime. And then let me save so I don't have to do all that shit again. I want to redo the upgrades. 25 per second here. And then 75 percent or half death, which is 30. I know I get I understand what you did. I said I don't think look fuck you. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an economist. Shut the fuck up. Uh, sneaky beaky like. 
I don't know if I really want to be up top. It's not like I can Assassin's Creed on people. So being up top just kind of means I can't stab them. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's actually stealthgame.exe. Okay. Can I hold this? Karate. Karate. Oh, fuck. There's a bull, man. Uh-oh. Bull, man. That man is throwing some WWE shit my way. Okay. Let's try out the new dude fucker. Dude sad as fuck. Wait, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Oh boy. Time to go over here. Okay. Get down. It just kind of crouch, I'll figure it out. That was a sick collateral. I just want to make sure everybody saw me collateral, those two noodle headed fuckboys. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. That was a pretty good uh come on. I just, you know, that was the greatest bait in the history of video games, by the way. They have a stealth section where if you get caught or if you make noise, a dude literally rings a bell and a thousand fucking homies just spawn in from the ether. And they had a guy just stand in a fucking bear trap. I'm obviously gonna shoot him. I'm fucking obviously gonna shoot him. That's the greatest bait in gaming history. Nobody on planet Earth can resist that shit. There was not a human alive who was not going to shoot the dude who just inexplicably wandered into his own bear trap while nothing was bothering him at all. And he's like, damn, well, at least nobody saw that. And then he starts getting shot in the face. How the fuck did they all get around this one? God damn. Kind of impressed, actually. That's gonna be... Hmm. I load this lad up. Yeah, it's gonna be shotgun shells. Oh, I don't have 12. Never mind. We'll, we'll just hang on to it for now. Oh, there's a lot. Of, okay, I'm starting to understand how you walked in the bear trap because there's 57 of them. Someone... <laughs> Someone was given the job of laying out bear traps and they were really, really excited. That was the only thing they wanted to be responsible for. <laughs> like, I fucking love bear traps, dude! Hell yeah! I don't see anybody. See a hell of a lot of really annoying elevated positions. I don't see any people in them. Yeah, yeah, what, a, what a fucking shocker. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Did I fucking stutter? Okay. Is there like one gunpowder, please? Chalice of Atonement. Fair enough. We have found a holy relic. I'm going to sell it. When are they going to put the bear trap under a yellow painted box? That would be the, the next, the new greatest bait in the history of gaming. Can, can I just, I don't need more resource L's. I need gunpowder. One gunpowder so I can make more food for the shotgun that fucking kills everybody. Okay, so just definitely like sit in places where they're too far away for you to hear them. Hello? This looks like a fighty tunnel. Can 
kind of like a tunnel. What is this? Sure is quiet. Yeah, I fucking hate this, honestly. Hello? Oh, some is something huge and horrible gonna explode out his door? Or? This is a definitely an extreme murder trench. It looks like I need something. Checkpoint. Okay. Smells like a rousing around a trench fight. Yeah, I don't have. Change my mind. I'll fucking use one of these to make a damn flashbang. Make two flashbangs. Need a little AOE. A little AOE action. I'm using my combat knife again, right? Stop equipping fucking kitchen knives! You have a fully upgraded combat knife! Stop grabbing cutlery! There's a guy. Stinky. Pretty sure she's just doing laps. I was gonna outlaps her. Did you see bodies? No? You just had to poop, I guess. You're just overwhelmed by the feeling in your colon. I don't know if we're still in the stealth section, but, uh... I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? You stealth execute everybody. Nobody does bad stuff to you. I'm not using the submachine gun ammo because I still have yet to purchase. I just don't see the point. I don't know, man. I see no... Like, zero appealing qualities... ...in the purchase of a submachine gun, you know? Why would I even want one of these? What is a submachine gun going to add to my life that a pistol and a shotgun don't already do? Like, what's the use case where I'm going to pull one of those fuckers out? I guess it would have been good on, like, the giant. Yellow herb, damn. I don't have any other herbs, though. It could have been good on the giant. Exactly, exclusively by dumb machine guns. God, why the fuck are you here? <laughs> Crowd control? That's what grenades are for. Why have high explosives? And also the shotgun. And also my knife. Which is really surprisingly fucking good at that. Hi. What? Uh, okay. Yeah, like, from what? Nothing in particular. You know, I just feel like a lot of really bad shit's about to go down, so. You know, just hang out in there. <laughs> You know, we just and we she never saw Leon again. <laughs> we just leave. Pranked. Pretty sure. Damn, I could make a big boy. Big boy sauce, I guess. Big helis. I don't really need that right now. I need like a medium helis. I need like a green green. Fuck, I didn't do that. Oh, there was a drop. I thought the staircase was gonna be intact, man. Oh, sh oh there's a lot of fucking healing items. Yeah, we're gonna fight like 10 million people down here. <laughs> Why? Crazy. For what possible reason? I guess it only really needs to be two people if they both have chainsaws. Sorry, didn't realize it was yours. I am flat. All this. What am a one lady? All this. <laughs> All this. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God, they're still going. Okay. 
Oh shit, no, we're fucking stuck in here? Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Never mind. Oh, hey, everybody. I need to use those stairs, excuse me. Okay. Let's clear some space. everyone out of the way go this way fuck you though the fuck you the bitch you fucking thought <laughs> the bitch you fucking thought okay so they are fucking impressively tanky oh <laughs> like jesus i can't they ate three frag grenades i'm gonna go ahead and throw that too Guy's weakness. Yeah, another one. For you. Oh my fucking god! Okay, this is where it's too risky. I'm gonna crank that around here. I don't know if it's gonna work. Excuse me, pardon me. Going through. Excuse me, pardon me. He is coming at my ass. Okay. Lord. That's a stagger, but I Haha! Oh, she's pissed. Pretty unhappy. You gotta move. You gotta move. I can't have you right here. I'm sorry. Just collapse. Thank you. That was not easy. Aha! Nice little truffle shuffle there, buddy. <laughs> you gave it a good effort. Thank you. God, this dude's tanky as fuck. What the fuck? Brother, <laughs> please. What are you, the third boss? Okay. Nice dead hard. I, I absolutely dead hearted that fucking chainsaw. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome back. I was like, whoop! <laughs> I did dip the fuck out of that. I wanted to chase the guy's torch. I did dip the fuck out of that torch, didn't I? Uh, okay, well, those two have a fucking phenomenally resilient skeleton. Uh, I will say I am impressed with how much of a gratuitous ass-kicking their skeleton can handle. Just sort of in general. I don't feel like I need to qualify that. Like, goddamn. Fuckers took literally three frag grenades that were pretty much on top of them. Perfectly fine. Several Leon most jacked fucking quads on the planet Kennedy's roundhouse kicks. Which we've seen with those motherfuckers. Oh, There's stuff in there. Oh, I need that dollar. Oh, piece of candy. God damn it. Move. <laughs> Thank you. What's kind of interesting that I'm starting to realize about 
combat in general in this game is that big hordes of enemies are not really strictly negative and there's kind of a weird tipping point where like a certain saturation of enemies becomes almost easier to fight than a smaller number of them because when there's like 27 dudes clown carring each other's assholes in a hallway all you got to do is stagger the guy in front and then run up and kick him and you literally just watch an entire sequence of dominoes fall down behind them in like a comical cartoon fashion as everybody just topples into the dude next to them and then everyone's on the ground just like oh oh god my shins yeah i guess that's uh i guess i could just look at the map yeah i guess that's everything okie dokie two Big chainsaw motherfuckers. Why'd they have backflip? Because it was fucking cool, obviously. What are you, stupid? <laughs> Did you not fucking see it? Um, pretty okay on ammo, actually. We're not great on shotgun, and we're not great on rifle, but we have plenty. I have more than a clip. We got plenty of fucking handgun. I still got my big Healy sauce, which I'm going to use pretty soon, probably. Yeah, and also the big fucking mega roundhouse kick. I'm is an AoE, like I'm kicking everyone. And it's it's hard as fuck to stagger like the sackhead chainsaw people because they're extremely tanky, but you know who's not hard to stagger? Some 67-year-old babushka with a pitchfork. You just shoot her in the elbow one time and she's like, oh god, bullets, and then you kick her and you get that's that's free kicks on the chainsaw people because you you kicked the entire fucking crowd over. <laughs> like it also lets you really just get a lot of value out of AoEs like flashbangs and grenades. It's really... I'm really getting sold on trying out the attached mines on the bolt thrower. Just because you can so effectively fight a crowd in this game. You can so effectively fight a crowd. Like, it's, it's Call of Duty Black Ops. Getting everyone up into a fucking heap and just AoEing them down seems to be how this works so i might next time we get to a typewriter i'm gonna pull the bolt caster out i'm gonna put the rifle away i'm gonna pull the bolt i know we just upgraded the rifle but i'm gonna put the rifle away i'm gonna pull out the bolt caster i should leave the tentacle head guys alive longer to let a couple of them pile up before i throw a flash because they're really 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 slow so they're not like my concern is like what i had to do while i had to loop the fucking two... We were really just playing Dead by Daylight there. I had to loop the two billies in front of the checkpoint door to get back into the main area. If there was a tentacle dude in that hallway because he's slow as goddamn molasses that was just bodying me, I would have just been fucked and probably just died. So I need to get him out of that, like, choke point. <laughs> also, the flashbang stunned, like, nine other people. So, like, I think it was a pretty value flashbang. Last break of the evening! I gotta pee! So I'm going to stand up, be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go too far. We still got an hour of stream left. We still got some adventures to do. This game's really fucking fun. Coffee time. Nobody is born cool, except of course. No memes this time, just huge, sincere thanks to Adam and Drake, Alexrin, Asane221, Adamok, Brony Fight Club, Canzoni, Cloud75, JC, Destro, Nets, Falcon572, GR, Jake, Jasteron, Dresnerg, Mokavian, Madness21, Mark Hall, Marshall, Maverick X29, Mercer Holt, Mesa Death101, ML Wolf, Max Doof, Oak G2010, Peter Carl, Future Future Will, Sean Regard, Zingus Patrol, The Noble Search Hero, Taraka, Onkana, Wafflecopter, and Zfold 2013. Hey there. How would you like a robot to welcome you into the chat every stream? Because Coffee Subs gets that for being very special and cool. Wow! Seriously though.
isn't a few unknown ones. It's a miracle cure. Wow, I, I, I feel special. You sure are, buddy. You feel better? Oh, I don't know. Marshmallow? Okay, hold on. Time out. Marshmallow? <laughs> I thought it was funny for a second. It, like, he's the last. It's gotta be the last boss, but there's surely a phase two. Yes, keep playing metal music. He's edible. <laughs> keep charging! Keep charging! Keep charging! Keep charging that shit! I feel guilty. I fuck him up! <laughs> Keep charging! Keep charging! Oh, we're getting so many achievements for like Keep doing fucking this. charging this shit! <laughs> and we won! <laughs> okay, we're good. I think you're all right. You'll be okay. Is he down here though, or is he? I don't know. Maybe he's not here. Maybe this is just yeah, like, the setup. Oh. Yeah, he's, I think God. he's down here. <laughs> I think he might be down here. Um. No. Be wildly obnoxious when you raid somebody. What flavor of obnoxious should it be? I mean, Monolith's got his, like, spam the wall of pink faces in the resist thing. Suck my entire ass, Dev Team! Fuck your level! I fucking did it! Delete that stupid gravity shoot! Don't need it! God, there's so much shit on the ground, including explosives. To kill something that's trying to oh, kill it's you. that time yes. again, everybody. It's that time when I put Gigi in the chair and see if this works literally at all. Spoilers. Probably not. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Let me see if this helps. If I, like, cross my legs and give you a little bit of a lapinal space there, you kind of have, like, a hole. Does that help you? If I, like, sit over to one side. Oh, this might work. Way much. Oh, you're just yawning. All right, puppy dog. Okay, puppy dog. You know the rules of the chair. You must stop licking. <laughs> you must just hang out and be a dog. I'll spread it my legs so you have a space right there to put your butt. And then you can sit or you can not sit or you can lick you can oh or you can consume <laughs> yeah she's not like biting she's just fucking licking me and she's like i can lick more effectively if your finger is just all the way inside my mouth. You know, it just... It just makes my job easier. If you just put the whole finger inside my mouth. And I can make sure you get properly cleaned. Because I am a puppy. And I must lick. Okay, Doggle. We're doing okay on supplies, especially since we just had a boss fight. I don't imagine we're going to immediately have another boss fight, so we're probably doing okay. Checkpoint crank! Are you hurt? He cracked the thing! He's doing it! You did well back there. Seems this you, isn't you did great back there. You sat groups. in a locker. <laughs> I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. Okay. Now my guns loaded. Yes. Loaded with the amount of nothing that I have. Let's I'm out of larges. Never mind. I was gonna say let's craft I'll make those attachable mines here in a minute. I was gonna say let's craft another flash bangu. Uh but I don't 
have a large stuff. Good fucking lord. Alright, how much more crap can there possibly be? Surely I've killed everybody in this incredibly impoverished village, right? Like, several times over. Oh boy, three dollars. Excuse me. I'm gonna go into this roof, I guess, instead of over it, because that makes more sense. Or rifle bullet. That's fine. How are your legs? You should probably... Oh, flashbang. Probably at this point... Oh, we're getting, we're getting restocked. Okay, he's like, hey, here you go. I know you just used all the all ammo that you own. So here's some more. Gunpowder. Oh, that's shotgun shells. What that is. That's shotgun shells. There's shotgun babies. Shells that ain't been born yet. You know, it is probably better if you just take the boots off. I think you might honestly just be better barefoot at this point. Though the high heels are going to make this as hard. We're going to be jumping off like a lot of second story landings. Based on how my adventure has gone so far. Probably just yeet the boots. All right. Come on. Okay. And then a giant bird. Oh, the giant man. Don't worry, I saved you. He just looks at me like, you bitch. Your soul requires cleansing. Okay. Come, child. Ashley, run! Uh, me also run. Hurry! Yeah, we both run. We both run now. I'll bet you there's some escape. Don't worry about them. Pardon me, counter, excuse me. Okay, he, got out of the, he got out of the way out of front. Why? Why? Actually, because temporarily incapacitation's attack, she'll die if she's had to go on this stage. We blew up. And I'm not sure how to handle that. It's gonna involve one of these, and it's gonna involve one of those. Alright, let it go. This way, come on! Okay. The damn high heels, dude! We need to go. I'm telling you, just get rid of them! Run. Yeah, idiot. Ha ha! Escape! I feel like that dude could just like jump the entire canyon. And he just doesn't feel like he's like, that's ah, too much effort. Fuck these guys. Well, I managed to kill a whole bunch of bonus people via explosives, so that was neat. Surely we missed some cool stuff back there, but you know, there's a lot of assholes. Listen, you're the one he wants. And there's a big if man. you see him again, you run. What about you? I'll do my job. No passar. Oh, it's trespassing. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't tell me what to do. That sign won't stop me. I can't read. Ooh. Breaks over, I suppose. Are you really want to have shooting galleries, homie? That was Wilk. a fucking really fun time, what actually. I would I love to do another you? one of those. This chapter has been like 10 hours long. We're done with... I got all of them? I got all the way shrines? Yeah, the only stuff I needed to pick back up still was down here, and I don't know if it's even possible to get back down there. I think that place, I think that opportunity might have passed. Unless we're going to loop back around later in the game. It's been blocked off. Well, this looks like it actually might loop back around. We'll see. This looks like it's going to loop back into this castle, and that might connect to Small Cave Shrine, possibly. Putting us back in the main area. 
Mr. Murder Rescue over there getting awesome major. I'm too much of a boss to fight you for real vibes. He's just gonna slowly and menacingly walk at us. It's what he does. Your rectangular recesses. Oh, okay, well. Consider my ass atoned. It matches the decor of the top of the cup. I should get an extra bonus for doing it with emeralds when the top of the cup also clearly has big emeralds in it. Well, I guess you can have this, you can have this, you can have that. And I'll take my billion dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I have seven of these. There's nothing in here that I would want other than maybe you in the oh, future. My back is killing me. You come All right. back so what I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's stash the homie. Take the boomer. So I am now a very, very close range Welcome. boy. <laughs> I, I do not Good have any sales, fucking range yeah. at all. All my wares are in tip-top shape, I assure you. Is there a universe where this thing stops sucking balls on just regular shots? No? 1.2 to 1.5 to probably like 1.8. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? You need to come. I do not need to be licked. Thank you. I have been licked. I feel licked. I appreciate your moisture. Oh, it does make explosive range. Oh, that's true. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Reading's pretty, pretty powerful. Increases power and explosive range. Okay. I'm just gonna do this until she lays down. <laughs> and stops trying to lick the shit out of me. So we should do this then. Try that on for size. Because explosions is are. the thing that we're doing. As you and then possibly putting an extra shot or two into it might be a good idea. Hmm. Knife needs care every I would... once in a while. Could oh yeah, be a difference, but easy. I would like to reload pistol faster. Try that on for size. That's kind of my default murdering object. I guess you. This kind take of both work of these. is about finesse, stranger. And that Little should work. Anything else I can help you with? Pleasant oh, I think we're good. She's still just staring at my hands. She has not, like, looked down yet. She's just waiting. Waiting until the licking can resume. Yeah, fine, I'll fucking lick my own hand. <laughs> I'll lick my own fucking hands. Just lay down. Yes. You can lick the armrest. I don't care. Just let me sit here. We will continue on as we have been. I bought the recipe, didn't I? Am I stupid? Welcome. Oh, no, I didn't. I don't want the regular bolts. No, I need gunpowder. Gunpowder and a larger majig. Okay. She knows she just has to wait you out. I put this. She knows she's just gotta wait. She can stay awake forever if it means she's gonna get to lick my hands slightly more. Ooh, 15 handgun bullets. I actually got a fuck ton of handgun bullets. That is not a thing we currently have a shortage of. I have pretty much nothing to shoot out of the bolt of majig. That's fine. Because it's I just want to make attachable mines with it. That's all I just want proximity bombs. Ah, the slaughterhouse. Be careful. This is where they do slaughtering. You can tell by the way it is. All I have is a red lettuce. Leon! Hi. Man is tired of our shit, I think. Alright, GG about to go on the floor. Cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our god. Pure shooting missionary. You know that. 
it's also like just oh, <laughs> Almighty. getting Grant taken hits. Oh, hold on, let me grab my hat. Crush your enemies. Son of a bitch. Ashley, run! Okay. I already fucking told you that woman. I didn't see that in the cutscene. Wonderful. You want to get ugly? He's long. Let's get ugly. He's already ugly, Leon. I think he's already there. I should have known you were one of Go for headshots. Oh, he got me. I think that's what we're doing. I'm not sure if that's what we're after. Maybe. Again, the game really feels like it has a dodge button I just haven't found yet. Oh, okay. I don't know how I could possibly avoid that. Very tall. Super not out of his reach. Cool. A green lettuce to put with my red lettuce. Oh, he's got an eyeball in his bag. We go. You have a secret eyeball. I see. Yeah, idiot. Oh shit. He stayed up that time. He stayed up that time. He did not go down. He stayed up that time. Next knife. Excuse me. Pardon me. Go through. What the fuck? Uh, that's a problem. About to be on a knife, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after that. Oh, I can hit it from up top. I can hit it from up top. That's cool. Okay, so we don't need knife. You may not need the knife, but I might just feel like I gotta reload. Can you hang out for a sec. Yes, I don't. Stop, dog. Okay, well, there's our knife. Let's go up this. He might smack me off, but I'm really surprised he has it. We might be invincible while we're climbing. Shotgun, probably better at hitting the big eyeball thing. Oh, okay. He has split in half. Now he has big scorpion claws. That's not better. Guess your tap dancing days are over. Game really feels like it's supposed to have a dodge button. I'm not sure what I'm missing. Once every 20 minutes it pulls out a contextual dodge button. I don't think shooting him's gonna do anything. We spent a lot of time establishing he doesn't really fucking care if we shoot him. I gotta hit the eyeball, which is on his back, which I can do via explosion, so I'm just waiting for him to oh. pick up. Come on. 
behind him. Nimble son of a bitch. Ah, uh, I see. He comes in, I get behind him. Ah, uh, okay. So we got like a 20 minute cycle and then one four second window of opportunity to hit him and uh, attack it again. Feels like the game forgot it doesn't have a dodge button. His little butt elbows. I mean, we're running out of options. I don't really know what the fuck we're supposed to do here. Uh, okay. So it's just survival at first. All right, you gotta go. You gotta go, Jug. All right, you gotta go. Uh, it's just survival at first. Be careful. My guy is leading the entire fight. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Okay. So we gotta hit him in his weird eyeball. Should've known you were one of the bugs. Let's close up the spread, will make it easier. He might actually be taking damage from regular hits. It's just probably like massively reduced if you don't hit him in the eyeball thing. I think we're actually still hurting him. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Shotgun do be going way fucking faster. Two big stabbies. We're good. We're in there. We're doing poking. Now he's going to turn to a weird crab. The game's gonna forget there's not a dodge button. Guess your tap dancing days are over. I guess I should have looted everything up top first. Okay. Run around at random, I kinda hope he misses. Reload my thing. I have the bull caster. Fuck right, I got to put the rifle away. I put the rifle away, immediately get a super long range boss. couple shots we've got on the eyeball ever running out of options huh what are you doing crap boy oh, damn it I can't see where the fire is I'm gonna hide him Woo. I like that I feel like that probably does a lot of damage to him much fire I think I'm not sure I think I can realistically hit him in the back with any of the shotgun. Oh shit. I was giving a grenade, but I want to make sure he's going to stay here first. Ooh! Ooh! He stayed there, he was charging up his little dickhead power. Grenade can hit him in the butthole. That's the thing I need to do. Explosives will work. Like, yeah, that's that's okay. We need to teach you some basic fire safety, man. This place is coming down. Uh, okay, so here's my plan. Oh man, can I go on this ladder the entire time? I thought both ladders were on fire. I thought I was just like super intentionally trying to keep going. Yeah, I'm looting. Hold on. This building's on fire. I can't leave uh, like 
live ammunition in here? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to... Oh, it's, it's on the ground floor. Uh, oh, it's spicy. Ah, it's hot. Oh, hello. I thought you were on the second floor. I thought you were on a landing. Don't worry. I just, I got all the live ammunition out. Everyone is safe. Don't worry. There are no bullets <laughs> left in the burning building. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. This fire's bound to catch their attention. Yeah, Let's we did moving. set a very large uh, building very on fire. I'm not going to turn into one of them, right? That guy died that very quickly. I promise. I kind of thought... I don't know, there was a man that received, like... Boy, just a whole fucking lot of build-up. He's kind of just like, ah, dead. <laughs> He's already just went from 100 to 0 very, very fucking quickly. That's been, like, big spooky church man that's been then after it since the very beginning of the game and then he just like catches you and he's like hello and then you just fight him like oh okay i mean he may not be entirely dead but we broke him in half and then shot him a bunch more and then he fell over and left him at burning building so like i mean he maybe very maybe will show up again but that was very abrupt it's resident evil so i just assume absolutely nothing is dead oh it is like a literal castle oh holy shit yeah that's a that's a castle that's a fucking, that's a fucking castle. Oh, damn it. They figured out how their drawbridge works. All What's right. Well, they're raising the drawbridge, obviously. I don't, is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry about being followed. Come on. So now we've gone from Spanish peasant village to just castle. That's gotta be a chapter. Yeah, this chapter was like fucking nine hours long. Okay. Farewell, Village of Terror. Yeah, I think we missed our opportunity to get him. I think we're like done forever on that village. That might just be the end of it. I think we missed our opportunity to get the stuff out of the factory before uh, all the stuff started. A few 500 splash grenades. Killed the guy who apparently had a name. I perform a follow up attack for the second floor with a knife. Give him the fucking flying people's elbow. Okay. Good murdering, everyone. Good hands. Lay on the man that kills bioweapons in the daily. That, one, that dude was a very angry centipede scorpion thingy, and now he's uh, at least half dead. Hola, Luis here. Did you guys still around? Well, I want How to go am home. I seeing a video see feed? Castle first. Perfect, Where is the video up. feed going? I'm not wearing anything. Where do we go? Is this being projected See, directly into my brain? Oh yeah, we've just we're in a wholly different map now. Oh wow! Oh 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 oh! oh, oh. Well, that guy probably is dead then. I guess that's just like the final said. boss of the first map. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. If it's like a pseudo end of the game. That's the big stocky guy from the whole time. It's like, well, yeah, but you're done that map now. So now we're in the next map and it's different. And we're, I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> we're done killing impoverished Spanish peasants. And now we're going to be fighting well off Spanish nobility. Some of them may even own swords. Gimme. I assume among the new items you have, I, I did notice it was treasure map village, so you probably have treasure map castle. I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking guess. Probably among your offerings today. Hello, stranger. Hello, stranger. Welcome. I got something new for you. This dude just invented like 15 you weapons. Bang for your buck. I guarantee it. I'm just kind of surprised no treasure map. Okay. Blacktail looks like a more modern gun. 
Okay, so we have a new gun upgrade. Which... Is less accurate. Why would you ever buy this? It's less accurate and has less damage than the Red 9? Why, why? For what conceivable reason would you ever purchase this gun? I'm a fucking pass, but thanks for the offer. Ooh. Time is money, mate. Can I compare with my stash? I can. I mean, that, that, uh, that seems really good. That seems really good. Stingray seems like it's going to absolutely dunk on people. You're literally just not being bolt action. We have our first Magnum. Buy this and get the Magnum ammo recipe for free. And if you've never played Resident Evil game before, and I've only played five, behold the damage number. <laughs> It may look similar at first until you realize that the decimal point is in a different fucking place. <laughs> Magnum ain't here to play. The Magnum is for when you are just done fucking with bitches. Okay. Take all the time you need. I think it's so funny that on the same hand, I'm saying I appreciate that this shit, uh, this shit doesn't go into like, oh, shotgun is pump action. It must be stronger. They're like, oh, this is a revolver. It must be a thousand times better than the other weapons. But we need this 30% off and the Magnum ammo recipe. We're obviously going to buy that. That's like, that's Wielding. not an option. What can I do you for? Oh, treasure map castles in here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Exclusive upgrade ticket. Grants access to a weapons exclusive upgrade regardless of the There's weapons level. Money can't buy. Weapons have levels. Good things on sale, stranger. We Your have levels. Are in good hands, mate. I'll see you right. Is that just an upgrade you get access to if you buy all the rest of the upgrades? Well, I guess I can. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price. Okay, I'm still not That's seeing any reason to ever buy a submachine gun. Not yet, anyway. A bunch of fucking knives. I can sell this because I could get the stingray, which is straight better. I can use that money to buy the magnum dong. And possibly the upgrade, the rest of the upgrades for the Red Nine, maybe. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Will that be all then? Not quite. I just want to see. Regardless of the weapons level. Okay. Well, step one, I need to make sure this has to be bought. I, I need the deal. Gun's not just about shooting, it's about reloading. Uh -huh. You'll know what I'm talking about. Go on, take this as well. Free of charge. Information is Thanks, a commodity buddy. these days. I don't want this thing right, right now. Of good things on sale, stranger. And then we can make this just like if you want comically murderous. We'll do that later. You best tune up your kit. I want to see this kind of work is about finesse stranger little bit goes along what is way. a fucking exclusive Use. okay well that just could like kek w minus 17k what Will the fuck is then? an exclusive upgrade regardless of the weapons level that kind of implies that it's tied to the level a well-tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skill 
I also see we've got the little chart way down there in the bottom right where it has current specs and max specs, which implies this can get more basically everything other than accurate. Weapon level might be an entire thing we haven't unlocked yet. Got a selection of good things on sale. We might not even have access to the concept of a weapon level. Pleasant travels. Weird. I don't know. Okay, so now I've got the gun, but it fucking kills people. Um, it came with one clip. Oh, I was gonna buy the bolts recipe too. Welcome. I might as well. Knowledge is come back. Put these fuckers together. Any Put my time. aid sprays away. At least one of the aid sprays away. I don't have a ton of healing right now, so I'll just kind of stock one, call it a day. And then we'll go on a fucking adventure. How? Oh, you click left stick. Oh, okay. So when you're aiming left stick, so now I'm... Do you hip fire it? You aim when you're using the bolt caster. You hip fire. This is... This is addressed to the recipient. This is to whom it may concern. <laughs> That's it'll find. It's gonna find a nice home somewhere, and it's not particularly bothered on who. So many handguns available. Choosing the right one for you can be tricky. Lucky for you, we compiled a list of the special characteristics for four stellar choices. The Punisher. This one's got brilliant stability and penetration power. A laser sight can be mounted on it too, making it very versatile. Red 9. Gun delivers a lot of power, but it kicks like a horse. Keep it reined in by attaching to stock. Black Tail. A great gun ideal for quick shooting. Its compact size also helps her up inventory space. Matilda. A bit unremarkable on its own, but attaching to stock lets you fire in three round bursts. We have a three round burst pistol somewhere. Howdy, partner. <laughs> I gotta blap some of the fucking Magnum. I'm not sure who yet. If we're getting the Magnum. Boy, howdy. That means. The enemy is going to start shoveling very angry gentlemen at us. Because we're going to handle it via Magnum Dong. This coconut gun can fire in spurts. Oh, it's the bishop man. Huh. The weird little shaman guy. Oh, yeah, it's got to be through that gate. Don't think our hosts are going to roll out the red carpet. Crossbows, huh? Something tells me they don't want to be friends. Things just keep getting better. I'm gonna get the rifle. <laughs> no, no particular reason necessarily. I'm just feeling like mayhaps. I sold the rifle, right? I was just gonna say, well, let's try it. We'll fucking shoot some explosives up there. It's explosives o'clock. Man, we, I think we literally just left the part where the explosive horde destruction weapon is going to be really useful and entered the place where long-range single-target removal is going to be really useful. I think we just rifled through the whole section of the game where the rifle kind of sucks and are now going to bolt caster through the section of the game where the bolt caster kind of sucks. We can buy that other rifle when we have some money. I'm guessing it's not for decoration. Is that a fucking catapult? Is that a fucking catapult? You're not gonna shoot me with a catapult. Catapult, you don't, you're not gonna shoot a cat, a catapult in, within your own castle's courtyard. He's not gonna, that'd be insane.
I see. We have moved on from the villagers and are now in the next section. But literally, it feels like we have started a different game. This is like, this is a different Resident Evil. We're in a different residence and it's a different evil. Is that like a button? Oh, damn it. Dead. Not dead! Oh, I thought he was flying. He grabbed the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Here's a good target for you to test out your new boot knife. Magnum dong. <laughs> you want to try that sucker out? Here you go. Here's the fuck boy. <laughs> Basic master says it was affordable. Affordability of mine, not durability. Ah, this is our new sucky knife. Okay. Uh, you can also craft boot knife into bolts. All right, fair enough. I guess we'll need to get a hold of some resources. Is it worth three magnum shots? Probably not, but is it worth three magnum shots? Absolutely. Fuck you, pot. Fuck you, pot. All right, there was our random treasure for this area i thought he was fucking flying i didn't realize he grabbed the ceiling i thought he had just like well we were getting to actual magic now and the dude was just a wizard and i had a humongous amount of concerns i'm just gonna equip this i forgot to repair my knife that's fine i have so many fucking knives please get rid of them when we saw a lot of motherfuckers walk by i have zero explosives that's false i have four explosives attached to my crossbow <sighs> About to wish I had a fucking rifle, huh? Sure wish I had a fucking rifle. Ah. <sighs> Fuck you. Out of the way. It's like I've gone out of my way to optimize the worst loadout for every section. <laughs> but I did it secretly without having any fucking clue it was coming. You guys, you can't shoot the catapult at your own uh, castle. You can't shoot the catapult at your own castle. I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. You fucking idiots. You deserve everything that happens to you. Yeah, poke up at the gun. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Excuse me. Oh, oh, okay. Shit! Fuck. Hey! She, she's fine. <laughs> Called Danger Close, honey. Look it up. You hurt? I'm good. Where the fuck did that guy hey. come from? <laughs> Run with the swiftness! Damn! It's locked! Yeah, well, no Looks fucking like shit! No shit, it's locked. It's a fucking castle gate. I can't believe they're shooting catapults at their own fucking castle. That dude has a fucking flail. Now he has a knife in his skull. And I have five dollars. Fuck. What? Hmm. I'm gonna 
be a little spice. That's okay. Kind of got to get around here. Across that little shitty bridge? That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Uh, actually, also, we got him. Oh, they can hit in here. Oh, there's not a roof. You okay? Yeah. I was today years old when I. Ah, oh, I was. Oh, it didn't hit me. I was today years old when I found out there's not a roof here. <laughs> I kind of thought we had a roof. Oh, I thought that fence was right here. Never mind. I don't need you to move, sir. A little busy. This could work. We have a cannon. They have a catapult, and I have a cannon. What the fuck is your defensive strategy right now? You you gave me. Why would you not use this? Why? Why do you have a cannon? Facing your own castle! What are you guys doing? Knock that shit off! They have another one! There's two different catapults. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Brother, I do not have time for this shit right now, okay? Oh, yes. Fire. There's only one fire now, so two, so that's positive. That was another dickhead, though. Where the fuck did you come from? Ow, my bones. Oh, I'm fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Stop it. Ashley. <laughs> I high framed the shit out of Ashley. That's a cat. Watch out, okay. Ashley. They've got a catapult. Thanks. Anytime. Watch out, Ashley! They've got a cat of Okay, I don't actually know that I can pick her back up. Do I just lose? You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. Getting fucking spammed. Thank you guys again for giving me the cannon. <laughs> yeah, you want to walk it? Yeah, come on, come on. Fucking idiots. And while I'm here, right? And then just like, that guy just got dumb feet. Oh, he's alive? What the fuck? Don't peace. Look, if you give me a cannon, I'm gonna play with the cannon, okay? Everything else is gonna very, very quickly become secondary. <laughs> On account of I have a cannon. Right. That one will. A little warning next time. I. Oh, yeah, I found one. I don't know what kind of warning you're expecting me to give you. Hey, I'm planning on getting shot at by four catapults. Uh, if that's cool. Is that cool with you? Craft some of that. Let's craft some of this. I think that's all we got from the crafting department. Okay, which means... I can load this with regular. If I give one more inventory upgrade, I can load it with a lot of regular. Aha! I think I could have taken out, actually, at least one more of those catapults by just shooting the barrel. I didn't realize it was one. Oh, I could have taken all of them with them before I even got to the cannon. 
I didn't realize. I thought only the one had the barrel next to it. Do I have the blue medallions marked? I think I have to accept the mission for them to start getting marked. Let's just kind of a figure it out, idiot. That was a cool little section. Now I can go back through and actually loot stuff. Yeah, I'm sure glad I got rid of my rifle like literally one shop ago. So I could try shooting this explosive AOEing device. Only to walk into a room filled exclusively with explosive AOE. Yeah, I fucking knew you'd have one down here, little bitches. That was indeed the segment of this game. The game's not trying to be serious. I think that's what makes this super fun is that it's just fucking wacky it's just wacky and maximum idiot 100 percent of the time the game does not make any attempt to like be logical or reasonable or make any sense it's like yeah fuck it now you're sieging a castle and they have like four catapults just shooting forever into their own courtyard fuck you good luck also they store all their explosive barrels right next to their catapults for reasons. Look, we don't want to talk about it, okay? Are you okay? I mean, I know you took like several two-ton explosive ordinances to the face from a catapult, but like you shut the fuck up for a second? I'm looking for blue medallions. <laughs> okay. It looks cool just ship it that's i think 1000 percent the resident evil 4 design design philosophy does it look fucking dope then put it in the game you know what honestly i'm here for it i'm fucking here for it also put a bunch of blue medallions in that bitch but i've found five of just looking around so i mean that makes me feel pretty good obviously when i get assigned the mission to hit them they're gonna get flagged on the map i don't need them fucking flagged on the map i got wizard vision i can see the shit i need to see with my eyeballs given infinite time which i don't quite have infinite but i do have a lot I wonder how the initial pitch meeting for this game was done and like imagine talking about this section. Yeah, so like after fighting a bunch of Spanish peasants, we're going to break into a castle. And there's going to be just a huge amount of siege weaponry everywhere. Firing into their own castle. Because just like fuck. Oh, there's a thing for it. All right, fine. Put it on the map. Because fuck Leon specifically. Fuck this guy. Put it on the map. Where was it? Oh, it's off. It's outside. Oh, man. All right, you got me. I didn't think to look fully outside the castle. You little bitch. That's fucking sneaky. That's some sneaky shit. That is some sneaky fucking shit. Oh my god, that is some sneaky fucking shit. Yeah, I don't feel bad on missing that one at all. Yeah, zero fucking regret. Like, I feel not a single ounce of shame for missing that one. That That is in Brazil. That is outside of the playable area. Below the level of the crenellations. Yeah, fuck that. You can have that dub game. I wasn't fucking finding that one. I got five of six. Good job, self. You did pretty good there. Good work, buddy. My health is at like two. I have one piece of lettuce. Knock, knock, motherfucker! That's not how statues work. <laughs> I don't think that's up the code. That's Look at this. shit's gonna hurt somebody. Yeah. Oh, fucking okay. thanks for the help, asshole. A job well done deserves payment in kind. Ooh. Hey, do you have a shooting gallery? Come back 
feels like the kind of place you'd have a shooting gallery. Brother, do you really not? Where mini game? Gib shooting gallery. Oh, breaks over, I suppose. Dickhead. Welcome. I guess I'll just hoard these. Maybe I'll get an exclusive update ticket then? at some point. Look at Bangle has two rounds. Next. I don't think I have. I do. I have two sapphires. Welcome. Merry Christmas. A deal well struck. Okay, that gives me. See, now we're inside, so that was probably like the really good rifle section. I could buy the stingray. He's got three what resource cells. Three resource cells means I could get a good amount of bolts. Although. I really do not need regular bolts, man. I, I like well, really truly don't. Well what can I do you for? Well, 380. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 1900. No, I wouldn't profit. I was wondering if I could craft for profit. You know, he would not have a shooting gallery and a castle. It'd be too easy to make. Wait till he finds the back of fucking dockside with water blowed or the inner portion of a blimp and he might find the challenge acceptable. Well, that not make a lot of sense where he put the previous one, does it? Molding a weapon to suit you. This kind of will come back any time. Same in inventory slot, thank you. Two inventory slots, as a matter of fact. Okay. I assume we make Magnum with Big Boy. We don't? Ah! 17 gunpowder. There's, there it is. I was waiting for the kicker to come out. Like you make it with tiny. Oh, and also 17 gunpowder. That's a pretty, pretty good amount of gunpowder. That's I'd say a very healthy amount of gunpowder. Bolts times four, bolts times three plus. What the fuck? Maybe a flash grenade. I don't know what the fuck you guys are smoking. Maybe a goddamn flash grenade. Okay. Oh, also repair well, my knife. Ooh, what are you buying? Also, I'll buy almost. I don't fucking care how valueless these are. Get them the fuck out of my inventory. Thank you. Make it go the fuck away. I will have one backup knife. <laughs> that's all I need. Was that seventeen gunpowder for three shots? Yep, that's a fucking magnum. <laughs> that's that do be how it do. That's the power of the Magnum Dong right there. That's the thing that you're looking for. That's the power of big fucking Blasto. How the fuck? I what the hell? How did that kill chat? They bring chat back, I guess. That was weird. Anyway. I think that's a good place to stop it for now. The one my monitor just turned off, but that's okay. I think it's a good place to stop it for now. Just getting right inside the castle there, getting into map the second of the Resident Evil 4 adventure. I have perfectly optimized bringing the worst weapon to everything. But now I, I do have a boom flinger. So if we get into a situation where I need to take somebody out from a short range without making a bunch of noise, I can shoot bolts. And if we have AoEs, I have like portable bombs that I'm very much ready to try the next time we start getting some big packs of dumb assholes. Monday, Tuesday is my days off. That's my weekend. I'll be back here Wednesday afternoon, everybody. 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. More Resident Evil 4 Remake, honestly. I'm having a really fucking good time playing. This is super fucking fun. I'm just coming right the fuck back to this. RuneScape can wait. We'll get some of that in a bit later in the week, but man, I want to go fuck up some goddamn... I guess it's just not zombies so much as like weird cultist dudes in a castle. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, everybody.